Do you know about the most exceptional scientists from your country? We're about to reveal the top 100 scientists of all time. Let's discover how many of them hail from your country. Each one of these scientists has a special story of discovering new things and making the world a better place. Their stories are full of curiosity, discovery, and making history. Please feel free to utilize chapter section of this video, if you are keen on learning about the top scientists from your respective country only. Scientist number one on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. Hailing from Australia, we chose one exceptional scientist to be included in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. This distinguished individual goes by the name of Howard Walter Florey. He was a brilliant scientist who made significant contributions to medicine. Born in Australia in 1898, Florey's journey to becoming a medical pioneer began with his interest in science. He studied at the University of Adelaide, where he excelled in his studies. Later, he moved to England for further education and research. Florey's most famous achievement came during World War II when he and his team played a crucial role in the development and mass production of penicillin, the world's first widely used antibiotic. Their work saved countless lives by treating bacterial infections that were previously difficult to cure. Florey's dedication to scientific research and his groundbreaking work in the field of medicine have left a lasting impact, and he is remembered as one of the key figures in the history of medical advancements. Howard Walter Florey's legacy extends beyond his groundbreaking work on penicillin. After the war, he continued to contribute to medical research and education. Florey became a professor at the University of Oxford, where he shared his knowledge and mentored aspiring scientists. His efforts earned him numerous awards and honors, including the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1945, which he shared with Sir Alexander Fleming and Sir Ernst Boris Chain for their collective contributions to the development of penicillin. Florey's life serves as an inspiring example of how scientific curiosity, dedication, and collaboration can lead to transformative breakthroughs that benefit humanity. His work laid the foundation for the widespread use of antibiotics, revolutionizing medicine and improving the quality of life for people around the world. Scientist number two on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Austria, we have selected two exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Gregor Mendel. He is known by everyone as the father of genetics. His plant experiments revealed the secrets of how traits are passed down from parents to children. People were curious about genetics for a long time, but no one really looked into it until Mendel did in the 1850s. This is surprising because even back in the 1730s, Carl Linnaeus used traits to group plants and animals together. If he had studied how those traits worked, he would have been known for both taxonomy and genetics. Despite this, Mendel deserves all the credit he got for genetics. He became interested when he saw different plants and animals having different traits. He started studying mice and bees, but the bishop in charge didn't like the idea of friars working on what he called, animal sex. So, Mendel turned to studying plants, comparing things like heights and flower colors. He used simple math to analyze his findings and found that the traits of future generations could be predicted because they were so consistent. Mendel's methods and conclusions were groundbreaking. They opened the door to the amazing world of genetics that we find fascinating today. His laws of heredity were so ahead of their time that people didn't fully appreciate them until long after he passed away. Besides genetics, Mendel also studied astronomy and weather. In fact, he wrote more about weather than genetics and even started Austria's Meteorological Society. Scientist number three on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from Austria on our list is Lise Meitner. She was born on the same day as another great female scientist, Marie Curie, even though she was 11 years younger. Like Curie, Meitner faced challenges as a woman in the field of science. She became the first woman in Germany to be a physics professor, but lost her position when the Nazis took control. Working with Otto Hahn, Meitner made significant contributions to the study of radioactivity and radiochemistry. Later, she collaborated with her nephew, Otto Frisch, to understand nuclear reactors and atomic bombs. Despite her crucial role, she faced discrimination as a woman with Jewish heritage. In 1944, the Nobel Committee awarded the prize only to Otto Hahn, overlooking Meitner and others. This decision was criticized years later. 
In 1949, the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry recognized Meitner and Hahn as the discoverers of protactinium. Meitner corresponded with notable scientists like Niels Bohr, James Chadwick, Fritz Haber, and Leo Szilard. She received numerous awards during her lifetime and posthumously. In 1997, the element Meitnerium was named in her honor. Several geographical features, including a lunar crater, a Venusian crater, and an asteroid, also bear her name. Scientist number 4 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. Hailing from Belgium, we've selected one exceptional scientist for our roster of the top 100 scientists of all time. The distinguished individual in question is none other than Andreas Vesalius. He was a surgeon as well as a teacher at a university. He studied the human body and made important discoveries about how it works. Vesalius learned from other great scientists who came before him, like Galen of Pergamon. He took their ideas, improved them, and sometimes proved them wrong. He believed in using real human bodies to study anatomy, instead of just looking at pictures. Unlike Galen, who studied animals, Vesalius used human bodies for all his research. He often worked in secret and was one of the first scientists to study the human circulatory system. He also looked closely at skeletons, the nervous system, muscles, and the digestive system. Because of his discoveries, Vesalius became famous. He even became the personal doctor to the Holy Roman Emperor, Charles V. This emperor ruled over Spain and the Habsburg Netherlands. Vesalius wrote important books about anatomy, like, De Humani Corporis Fabrica, which covered many aspects of the human body. He also wrote about where to cut veins for medical procedures in a book called, Epistola, Docens Venum Axillarum Dextri Cubiti in Dolor Lateralis Secandum. People remember Vesalius as one of the founders of human anatomy, along with Jacques Dubois, Jean Fernel, and Gabriele Fallopio. In 1543, during a visit to Switzerland, Vesalius got permission to keep the skeleton of a person named Jakob von Gebweiler. This skeleton, known as the Basel skeleton, is one of the oldest human anatomical specimens. Today, there's even a lunar crater named after Andreas Vesalius, showing how important his contributions to the study of the human body were. Scientist number 5 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. Originating from China, we have selected seven outstanding scientists to feature in our compilation of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first distinguished figure is identified as Zheng Heng. Zhang Heng was a versatile expert who made significant contributions in various fields of science. His impact was widespread, touching areas such as mathematics, mechanics, astronomy, seismology, geography, and cartography. Even the renowned Liu Wei drew inspiration from Zhang Heng's works. Beyond the scientific realm, Zhang Heng's poems and other artistic creations benefited many ancient scholars who weren't inclined towards science. He was among the earliest scientists to systematically explain solar and lunar eclipses. Zhang Heng was also a pioneer in proposing that moonlight is not generated by the moon but is simply a reflection of sunlight. He improved mathematical formulas and came up with better approximations for constants like pi. One of his notable engineering feats was creating the first water-powered armillary sphere, providing enhanced cosmic insights. Zhang Heng also invented the first known seismoscope, a highly sensitive device that accurately detected the direction of earthquakes occurring hundreds of kilometers away. He is credited with reinventing the odometer and the famous Chinese south-pointing chariot. Beyond his scientific achievements, Zhang Heng made erudite contributions to administration, ethics, literature, and philosophy. During his lifetime, Zhang Heng wielded considerable influence, and his impact endured long after his death. His works inspired scholars both in the East and the West. Several celestial objects and scientific discoveries are named in his honor, including the Chang Heng lunar crater, the 1802 Zhang Heng asteroid, the Zhang Heng One satellite, and Zhang Hengite a golden yellow mineral mainly composed of copper, zinc, iron, aluminum, and chromium. Scientist number 6 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from China on our list is Liu Wei. He was a really smart guy in ancient China, and many experts think he was the best mathematician there. Even though he was really into geodesy and geometry, fancy math about earth and shapes, he also improved other parts of math like algebra, arithmetic, and metrology during his time. 
He built on the great work of Zhang Heng. People praised him for bringing negative numbers into math, improving the value of pi, and doing cool stuff with plane and solid geometry. He was also known for his notes and corrections to a famous math book called Zhou Zhang Xuanshu, the nine chapters on the mathematical art, which had been around for many generations. One of his well-respected writings, Heidao Xuanjing, the Sea Island Mathematical Manual, was like an extra chapter for Zhou Zhang Xuanshu. Liu Wei was so clever that he came up with advanced methods for making maps, doing surveys, and engineering. Some of these techniques, like Gaussian elimination and Cavallari's principle, were way ahead of their time. Europeans didn't learn about them until 1300 years later. Liu Hui's brilliance didn't just stay in China, it spread to neighboring countries like India, Korea, and Japan. Merchants and scholars from the Middle East, who traveled to the Far East, brought back versions of his writings. Muhammad al khwarizmi translated and shared some of these works, which then reached Europe thanks to Leonardo Fibonacci during his medieval travels. The ideas in Liu Hui's writings not only enlightened Europeans but also played a big role in starting important projects during the Renaissance. So, you could say that Liu Hui's smart ideas continued to influence Europe and the world for more than a thousand years after he passed away. Scientist number 7 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from China on our list is Zhu Changzi. In ancient times, a significant part of science revolved around mathematics. While Europe was in the Dark Ages, Asia produced outstanding mathematicians, and one of the most remarkable figures was Zhu Changzi also spelled Su Chengxi. Even as a child, Zhu showed incredible intelligence and was sent to the prestigious Hualun Shuisheng Academy before attending the well-regarded Imperial Nanjing University. His academic excellence, particularly in mathematics, laid the foundation for his future work in astronomy. Zhu's mathematical skills proved crucial in his research on time, allowing him to calculate time values with unprecedented accuracy. For instance, his calculation of a year as 365.2428148 days is very close to the contemporary value of 365.2421988 days. Similarly, his prediction of the overlaps between the Sun and Moon, at 27.21223, closely aligns with the modern value of 27.21222, enabling accurate eclipse predictions. His computation of Jupiter's year, 11.8580 Earth years, was only off by a tiny margin of 0.004 Earth year. Besides building on Liu Hui's contributions, Zhu Changzi made notable advancements, including resolving the volume of a sphere and calculating pi so accurately that his approximation became the standard for almost a thousand years. He also ventured into mechanical engineering, reinventing Ma Jun's south-pointing chariot. In collaboration with his son, Zhu Zhengzi, he authored the famous, though now lost, math treatise called Zhu Yi Shu. Zhu Changji's name is honored in various mathematical concepts, ranging from pi ratio to encryption algorithms. He is also commemorated by the 1888 Zhu Changji asteroid and the 28-kilometer-wide Su Chengkai lunar crater. The fourth luminary from China on our list is Shen Kuo. He was an incredibly versatile and productive individual. As a polymath, he delved into a wide range of interests, spanning mathematics, astronomy, biology, geology, pharmacology, optics, magnetism, hydraulics, and agriculture. Despite his full-time bureaucratic roles, he dedicated considerable time to research and publishing. Notably, he authored one of the earliest known works describing the magnetic compass, an improvement upon Ma Jun and Zhu Changji's south-pointing chariot. Shen Kuo's treatises weren't limited to scientific subjects, he also explored literature, music, philosophy, and governance. His strong foundation in geometry was detailed and exceptional, with applications in solving astronomical problems that contributed to the improvement of trigonometry. Guo Shoujing later used Kuo's works on circle arc lengths as the basis for enhancing spherical trigonometry almost two centuries after Kuo's passing. In pharmacology, Shen Kuo extensively documented the preparation and administration of various drugs, including information on their contraindications. He also made significant contributions to geological evaluations, focusing on rock types and fossilized sediments. His insights extended to biology and agriculture, with documentation on using predatory arthropods as pest controllers. Shen Kuo's multidisciplinary approach made him an outstanding polymath, 
contributing significantly to the advancement of Asian arts and sciences. In recognition of his contributions, several items, including the 2027 Shen Guo asteroid, were named after him. Unfortunately, most of his publications, including maps and charts, did not survive to the present day. Scientist number 9 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fifth luminary from China on our list is Qin Zhushao. Qin Zhushao, a remarkable figure in the mathematical sciences, made substantial contributions from algebra to arithmetic and down to geometry. He is considered among the most gifted experts in these fields. Qin's exceptional work on modular arithmetic, particularly the influential Chinese remainder theorem, has stood the test of time for over 700 years. Its adoption in Europe even helped solve problems that challenged prominent mathematicians like Leonard Euler. Delving into polynomials, Qin extended his explorations to quartic and quintic equations, the latter being proven algebraically unsolvable using finite operations, an insight later affirmed by Niels Henrik Abel and Evariste Galois. Qin Zhushao's prowess extended to astronomy, where his narratives provided insights into deriving solstice and other astronomical data from traditional lunisolar calendars. Noteworthy in Chinese mathematics, Qin introduced the zero symbol and demonstrated expertise in finding sums of arithmetic series. His skills were evident in dissecting the Ruffini-Horner method, revealed more than 500 years before its rediscovery in 19th century Europe by Paolo Ruffini and William Horner. In geometry, he independently rediscovered Heron's formula, and in meteorology, he developed the Tianxi Basin, an instrument used for evaluating precipitations. Despite losing most of his publications, survivors like Xu Xu Zhouzhang, the mathematical treatise in nine sections, showcased Jin's extensive research in applied mathematics, civil engineering, architecture, and surveying. Qin Zhushao's achievements are even more impressive when considering that he pursued science and mathematics as hobbies while maintaining a career as a bureaucrat. Scientist number 10 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The sixth luminary from China on our list is Zhu Shiji. He was an exceptionally talented mathematician from China known for his sharp intellect and versatility. His groundbreaking work on multivariate polynomials and innovative methods for solving linear equations continue to be highly regarded. Over a period of two decades, Zhu traveled extensively across China and its neighboring regions, sharing his knowledge and mentoring numerous students, which greatly contributed to the advancement of Chinese mathematics. His influential books, An Introduction to Mathematical Studies, and The True Reflections of the Four Unknowns, expanded upon the principles established in the renowned nine chapters on the mathematical art. These works became immensely popular, even outside of China, and were integrated into the educational curricula of neighboring countries due to their high standards and engaging illustrations. Centuries later, Jews' methodologies continued to inspire mathematicians like Blaise Pascal and William Horner. Additionally, Zhu played a significant role in uniting the diverse mathematical traditions of northern and southern China by combining their strengths. Although Zhu is celebrated as a beloved teacher, his contributions extended far beyond mathematics to fields such as engineering, geography, geology, surveying, architecture, and agriculture. His legacy remains deeply imprinted in the history of Chinese intellectualism. Scientist number 11 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The seventh luminary from China on our list is Li Shijun. China boasts the world's oldest continuous medical tradition, with a rich history of innovative methodologies and renowned practitioners of oriental medicine. Li Shijun stands out among these luminaries as a remarkable polymath who revolutionized pharmaceutics and pharmacology. Devoting three decades to his craft, he extensively explored therapeutic options, supplements, and alternatives, fundamentally reshaping pharmacognosa by meticulously isolating and categorizing hundreds of medicinal plants. His monumental work, Ben Sao Gangmu, Compendium Materia Medica, spans 53 volumes and contains nearly 1,900 entries, documenting around 1,100 herbs with detailed descriptions of their characteristics, uses, and potential side effects. This exhaustive reference remains unparalleled in the annals of traditional Chinese medicine, making it the most comprehensive publication of its kind. Beyond herbal medicine, Li Shijun enriched Ben Sao Gangmu, with sections covering a wide array of scientific disciplines including logic, cartography, geodesy, geology, biology, mineralogy, chemistry, and astronomy, ensuring its enduring value as a treasure trove of knowledge.
Li's contributions have earned Ben Sao Gangmu a place as one of the oldest and most esteemed encyclopedias still in circulation, translated into approximately 20 languages and disseminated across all continents. Additionally, his diverse publications encompassed subjects ranging from history, metallurgy, acupuncture, and agriculture, to nutrition. Among his many achievements, Li Shijun is renowned for his early investigations into gallstones and for pioneering the use of ephedra sinica as a nasal decongestant. His legacy extends beyond his writings, with various items, including the multicolored mineral Lishigenite, ZNFE2, SO4, 4, 14, H2O, named in his honor, immortalizing his profound impact on medicine and science. Scientist number 12 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. Originating from Denmark, we have selected two outstanding scientists to feature in our compilation of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first distinguished figure is identified as Hans Christian Ørsted. Hans Christian Ørsted, brother to Danish Prime Minister Anders Sando Ørsted, played a significant role during the Danish Golden Age from 1800 to 1850. Influenced by the philosophical ideas of Immanuel Kant regarding the unity of nature, Ørsted believed in the interconnectedness of natural phenomena. This belief led him to explore the relationship between electricity and magnetism inspired by the theories of German scientist Johann Wilhelm Ritter. Through his experiments, Ørsted discovered that electric currents could generate magnetic fields, a groundbreaking observation that came to be known as Ørsted's Law. This discovery marked the birth of electromagnetism and spurred further scientific inquiry into the fields of electricity and magnetism. Ørsted's work laid the foundation for André-Marie Ampere's formulation of magnetic forces between electric currents, as well as the development of Maxwell's equations, which are fundamental principles in classical electrodynamics, along with Faraday's law and Lorentz's force law. Beyond his contributions to physics, Ørsted also collaborated with chemist Humphrey Davy in advancing research in chemistry. His legacy is honored through various means, including the naming of Denmark's first satellite after him. Additionally, the unit of auxiliary magnetic field in the centimeter-gram second system of units, the Ørsted, is named in recognition of his significant contributions to science. Scientist number 13 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second distinguished figure is identified as Niels Bohr. Niels Bohr, a distinguished student of Ernest Rutherford, emerged as a prominent figure in the scientific community, collaborating with renowned scientists such as Joseph J. Thompson, Max Planck, James Chadwick, and Werner Heisenberg. Throughout his career, he also mentored several notable individuals, including Hendrik Kramers, Lev Landau, and Israt Usmani. Building upon Rutherford's atomic model, Bohr incorporated Planck's quantum theory to address the issue of atomic stability left unresolved by his predecessor. Recognizing the inadequacy of classical laws to explain atomic behavior, Bohr proposed a solution that equated the energy of electrons in their orbits around the nucleus with Planck's constant. This groundbreaking insight suggested that electrons transition between energy levels when atoms absorb or release energy, a concept fundamental to quantum mechanics. Upon publishing his findings in 1913, Bohr's ideas initially faced skepticism from scientists grappling with the complexities of quantum theory. However, his work laid the groundwork for the development of quantum mechanics, shaping the trajectory of modern physics. In recognition of his contributions, Bohr received numerous awards both during his lifetime and posthumously. His legacy is further immortalized through various honors, including the naming of the 71-kilometer-wide Bohr lunar crater and the 3948 Bohr asteroid. Scientist number 14 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From France, we have selected 14 exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Blaise Pascal. Blaise Pascal, recognized as a prodigious talent from a young age, displayed an exceptional aptitude for mathematics. His early acclaim came with the proposition and subsequent proof of Pascal's theorem while still a teenager. Notably, he demonstrated a remarkable grasp of mathematical algorithms, leading to the creation of mechanical calculators before he reached the age of 20. Though Wilhelm Schickard had pioneered prototypes in Germany before Pascal's time, Pascal's designs surpassed them in efficiency and usability. Unaware of Schickard's efforts, Pascal refined his gadgets, establishing himself as a pivotal figure in the development of early calculators and laying the groundwork for future advancements in computing technology. 
Beyond his contributions to mathematics and engineering, Pascal's intellectual pursuits extended into science, religion, and philosophy. He engaged in spirited exchanges with luminaries of his time, including correspondence with Pierre de Fermat on subjects like probability theory and geometric transformations. Despite the admiration of peers like Fermat, Pascal faced envy, notably from René Descartes, whose remarks did little to diminish Pascal's influence. Pascal's interdisciplinary prowess extended to fields such as hydrodynamics, resulting in inventions like the hydraulic press and syringe, both of which remain integral tools today. His influential treatises, including De l'esprit géométrique, Essai pour les coniques, and Traité du triangle arithmétique, not only advanced his own reputation but also nurtured the careers of others, notably Christian Huygens. Even beyond his lifetime, Pascal's legacy endured. His works provided foundational knowledge for future luminaries such as Paul Dirac, who would build upon Pascal's projective geometry to develop the principles of quantum mechanics, earning widespread acclaim. In the pursuit of scientific knowledge, Pascal's writings continued to inspire generations. Notably, when Gottfried Leibniz sought guidance in his early scientific endeavors, his tutor Christian Huygens, who held Pascal in high esteem, recommended Pascal's publications as essential reading. Scientist number 15 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from France on our list is Charles Augustin de Coulomb. Charles Augustin de Coulomb initially pursued civil engineering roles before transitioning to experimental physics. Following an eight-year stint in Martinique, he returned to France and delved into research, initially exploring mechanics and later shifting his focus to electricity. His detailed treatises, including The Statistical Problems Applied to Architecture and The Theory of Simple Machines, garnered recognition from the Paris Academy of Sciences, earning him its prestigious grand prize. Coulomb's groundbreaking invention of the torsion balance in 1777 led to the publication of another highly regarded monograph, The Elasticity of Wires Under Twisting Stress. His mathematical prowess, honed under the guidance of tutors during his youth, enabled him to apply calculus to tackle complex problems, impressing members of the academy. Dedicating five years to the study of electricity, electrostatics, and magnetism, Coulomb published seven treatises that culminated in the formulation of his renowned law, termed the Coulomb's inverse square law in 1785. This law played a pivotal role in the development of the theory of electromagnetism, paralleling Newton's law of universal gravitation and contributing to the derivation of Gauss flux theorem. Coulomb's contributions extended beyond scientific principles. He is commemorated through various namesakes, including the SI unit of electric charge, the 30826 Coulomb asteroid, the Coulomb lunar crater, the Coulomb Sartan pre Nectarian lunar basin, the Coulomb wave function, and the Coulomb logarithm. Additionally, his name is among the 72 French luminaries honored on the Eiffel Tower. Scientist number 16 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from France on our list is Antoine Lavoisier. Antoine Lavoisier, renowned as one of the most influential experimental chemists prior to Michael Faraday, led a remarkably prolific career. Despite being trained as a lawyer, he rarely practiced law, instead devoting himself to the realms of chemistry, botany, logic, and mathematics. Influenced greatly by his mathematics tutor, Nicolas Louis de Lacay, who was both an abbot and astronomy enthusiast, Lavoisier developed a lifelong passion for meteorology. However, it was the captivating allure of chemistry that truly captured his imagination, as he delighted in showcasing vibrant and illuminating experiments to his peers. While Lavoisier lacked extensive expertise in chemistry, he relied on the insights and collaborations with contemporaries such as Joseph Priestley and Henry Cavendish to refine his understanding of the subject. Communicating with other French professionals also aided him in augmenting the limited knowledge he gained from his private studies. His adeptness at managing multiple correspondences allowed him to foster rewarding collaborations effectively. Unlike Priestley and Cavendish, Lavoisier's aristocratic background endowed him with the financial means to conduct elaborate experiments repeatedly. This enabled him to gain deeper insights and transform vague concepts into well-founded theories. An exemplary instance of this was his joint research with Priestley on oxygen. While Carl Scheele initially discovered the gas and informed Priestley, it was Lavoisier's extensive experimentation with oxygen that provided a comprehensive understanding of its properties, surpassing that of Scheele and Priestley. A similar scenario unfolded after Cavendish's isolation of hydrogen. 
Transitioning from an enthusiast to an esteemed expert, Lavoisier made significant contributions to chemical nomenclature, stoichiometry, and the metric system. His legacy is immortalized through various honors, including the naming of the 70-kilometer-wide Lavoisier lunar crater, situated between Bunsen, Bay, and von Braun. Scientist number 17 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fourth luminary from France on our list is Jean-Baptiste Lamarck. Jean-Baptiste Lamarck, born in 1744, was a prominent French biologist whose groundbreaking contributions revolutionized the understanding of evolution. From his early years, Lamarck exhibited a profound fascination with the natural world, laying the foundation for his lifelong dedication to biological research. His extensive studies in botany and zoology provided him with the knowledge and insight necessary to propose his theory of evolution. Lamarck's most notable hypothesis, known as the theory of inheritance of acquired characteristics, suggested that organisms could pass on traits acquired during their lifetime to their offspring, shaping the course of evolution. Despite facing initial skepticism, Lamarck's ideas sparked significant debate and laid the groundwork for future evolutionary theories. In addition to his work on evolution, Lamarck made significant contributions to the field of taxonomy, developing systematic methods for classifying and organizing species. His meticulous observations and classifications helped advance the understanding of biological diversity and paved the way for modern classification systems. Lamarck's influence extended beyond the realm of biology, impacting fields such as philosophy and anthropology. Although some aspects of Lamarck's theory have been revised over time, his contributions to evolutionary thought remain fundamental to our understanding of the natural world. His dedication to scientific inquiry and exploration continues to inspire researchers and scholars across disciplines. Jean-Baptiste Lamarck's legacy as a pioneering biologist and evolutionary thinker endures, leaving an indelible mark on the history of science. Scientist number 18 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fifth luminary from France on our list is Pierre-Simon Laplace. Before delving into Laplace's remarkable contributions, it's worth noting that he passed away on the same day as Alessandro Volta, the inventor of the electric battery. Although this was merely a coincidence, it represented a significant loss for 19th century science. Laplace made extensive contributions to both physics and mathematics, particularly noteworthy are his advancements in probability theory and celestial mechanics. His significant improvements to Isaac Newton's works earned him the moniker, French Newton. In collaboration with Antoine Lavoisier, Pierre-Simon Laplace played a key role in establishing the metric system of measurements. Their cooperation extended to thermochemical research, focusing on combustion and specific heat evaluations. Laplace's pioneering experiments led him to assert that the velocity of sound in air varies with the atmospheric heat capacity ratio, a groundbreaking discovery at the time. Laplace's monumental five-volume work, Mécanique Celeste, revolutionized celestial mechanics by employing geometric calculus for enhanced accuracy in problem-solving. His meticulous attention to detail allowed him to overcome challenges that even esteemed figures like Leonard Euler and Joseph Louis Lagrange struggled with. For instance, Laplace resolved a perplexing issue regarding Jupiter's apparent orbit shrinkage and Saturn's expansion by considering neglected approximations, leading to precise outcomes. In addition to his profound contributions spanning mathematics, statistics, physics, astronomy, computing, and engineering, Laplace is honored through various dedications, including the 4,628 Laplace asteroid and the 2.6-kilometer high promontorium Laplace on the moon's Montes Jura. Scientist number 19 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The sixth luminary from France on our list is Jean-Baptiste Joseph Fourier. Jean-Baptiste Joseph Fourier was a multifaceted scholar who demonstrated excellence across various domains, including physics, mathematics, teaching, and administration. Despite facing early orphanhood, he received support from the Bishop of Auxier, which facilitated his education. Under the guidance of Joseph Louis Lagrange, Fourier delved into the realms of analysis and algebra, forming friendships with notable figures like Pierre-Simon Laplace and Gaspard Monge. Upon Lagrange's retirement from the position of Professor of Analysis and Mechanics at Paris École Polytechnique in 1797, Fourier succeeded him. However, his academic pursuits were briefly interrupted when he joined Napoleon's expedition to Egypt as a science advisor. Subsequently appointed as the governor of Grenoble, 
Fourier dedicated himself to thermal research, a pursuit that would bring him widespread acclaim. As a researcher, educator, and administrator, Fourier excelled, particularly in his development of Fourier series, derived from his experiments on heat transfer and simplified using trigonometric functions. His seminal work, Théorie analytique de la chaleur, published in 1822, earned accolades, with William Thomson Kelvin later describing it as a magnificent mathematical composition. To honor his legacy, the Université Joseph Fourier in Grenoble and the 51-kilometer-wide Fourier lunar crater bear his name. Additionally, he is among the esteemed French achievers commemorated on the Eiffel Tower. Scientist number 20 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The seventh luminary from France on our list is André-Marie Ampère. From an early age, André-Marie Ampère displayed a remarkable aptitude for various fields, including mathematics, physics, chemistry, astronomy, and philosophy. Immersed in the works of influential figures like Leonard Euler, Daniel Bernoulli, and Jean La Ronde d'Alembert, he even authored a treatise on mathematical probability during his youth. As a lecturer at the École Polytechnique, Paris, he imparted knowledge to notable students such as Augustin Louis Cauchy and mentored Frederick Ozanam, who later co-founded the St. Vincent de Paul Society. Ampere's journey as a mathematical physicist gained momentum after Hans Christian Ersted discovered electromagnetism. Eager to elucidate this phenomenon further, Ampere conducted experiments that led to groundbreaking findings. He observed that current carrying parallel wires could either attract or repel each other based on the direction of the current flow. Additionally, he formulated mathematical equations to describe the magnetic forces between conductors transmitting electric currents. His seminal contributions to the field include the formulation of two fundamental laws, the force law and the circuital law. The force law elucidated the interaction between current carrying wires, while the circuital law, later mathematically derived by James Clerk Maxwell in 1861, described the relationship between integrated magnetic fields and currents in closed loops. In recognition of his groundbreaking work, the unit of electric current, the Ampere, AMP, was designated in his honor in 1881. Moreover, Ampere's legacy is immortalized among the 72 distinguished French figures whose names adorn the Eiffel Tower, serving as a testament to his enduring impact on science and mathematics. Scientist number 21 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The eighth luminary from France on our list is Joseph Louis Gay Lussac. Joseph Louis Gay Lussac possessed an insatiable curiosity that propelled him to become one of the foremost experimenters of the 19th century. Before assuming a professorship in physics, he conducted extensive research in chemistry, laying the groundwork for his illustrious career. For 24 years, he held the prestigious physics chair at Sorbonne, before transitioning to a chemistry position at the Jardin des Plantes in Paris. Gases held a particular fascination for Gay Lussac reminiscent of his esteemed compatriot Antoine Lavoisier. Using hydrogen-filled balloons, he ascended several kilometers above sea level to collect fresh air samples for analysis. Through meticulous experimentation, he made a groundbreaking discovery. When gases react at constant temperature and pressure, they combine in volumes that follow simple ratios, known as gay lussacs law of combining volumes. This law provided crucial clues that inspired Amadeo Avogadro to formulate his revolutionary hypothesis. Beyond his work with gases, Gay Lussac made significant contributions to chemistry. He co-discovered boron alongside Louis Jacques Tenard and Humphrey Davy. Collaborating with Alexander von Humboldt, he determined the elemental composition of water, revealing its ratio of two parts hydrogen to one part oxygen by volume. Gay Lussac also introduced terminology to the field coining the terms, barrette, and, pipette, while refining their designs. Additionally, his quantitative analyses of alcohols led France and Britain to adopt degrees gay lussac as the standard measurement for ethanol percentage by volume. In honor of his achievements, the 26-kilometer-wide gay lussac lunar crater stands as a testament to his lasting legacy in the field of science. Scientist number 22 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The ninth luminary from France on our list is Simeon Denis Poisson. Simeon Denis Poisson was an extraordinary mathematical physicist whose contributions continue to stand as a testament to his genius. At the age of 17, he distinguished himself by securing admission to the highly competitive École Polytechnique Paris as the top qualifier, impressing esteemed professors such as Joseph Louis Lagrange and Pierre-Simon Laplace with his remarkable abilities. 
Recognizing his exceptional talent, Poisson was granted the freedom to pursue his own areas of interest, resulting in the publication of two groundbreaking treatises in 1800. Upon graduating, Poisson was appointed as deputy lecturer at the École Polytechnique, where he passionately embraced his belief that life is good for two things, doing mathematics and teaching mathematics. His dedication and brilliance propelled him to attain full professorship within a remarkably brief span of six years. Poisson's illustrious career saw him succeed Joseph Fourier and Laplace, while concurrently serving in various influential roles on numerous boards, thanks to the continued support of Lagrange and Laplace. Despite being ranked mathematically below only Carl Friedrich Gauss and Augustin Louis Cauchy at the pinnacle of his career, Poisson was revered as an unparalleled educator, surpassing even his esteemed contemporaries in teaching prowess. For several years, he served as the math pedagogical supervisor for all of France, leaving an indelible mark on mathematical education. As a prolific researcher, Poisson's contributions spanned a wide array of topics in physics and mathematics, with over 400 treatises attributed to him. His influence extended to a cadre of renowned students, including Peter Dirichlet, Joseph Liouvel, Michel Cazals, and Nicolas Carnot. To honor his enduring legacy, the 42-kilometer-wide Poisson lunar crater serves as a fitting tribute to his remarkable achievements. Additionally, Poisson's name is among the esteemed honorees immortalized on the Eiffel Tower, a testament to his enduring impact on the world of science and mathematics. Scientist number 23 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The tenth luminary from France on our list is Augustin Louis Cauchy. Augustin Louis Cauchy stands as the epitome of French mathematicians, inheriting his exceptional intellect from his father, Louis Francois Cauchy, who also distinguished himself by winning France's Concours General competition. From a young age, Augustin Louis displayed unparalleled aptitude in all his academic pursuits, earning admiration from leading mathematicians of his time, including Joseph Louis Lagrange and Pierre Simon Laplace. Despite his responsibilities in civil engineering, Cauchy remained dedicated to his mathematical pursuits, pioneering advancements in continuum mechanics, complex analysis, permutation group theory, and elasticity theory, while also building upon the work of his predecessors. Proficient in every branch of mathematics, he made significant contributions across a spectrum of fields and published prolifically, with many of his insights proving invaluable to the field of physics and engineering. Cauchy's prodigious abilities and prolific output left a lasting impression on his contemporaries, overshadowing even the renowned Carl Friedrich Gauss, who was widely regarded as the prince of mathematics. Revered for his intellect and immortalized through his masterful works, Cauchy became synonymous with rigorous proofs, becoming the first to establish many theorems, including the notoriously complex Fermat's polygonal number theorem, which had remained unproven for 175 years. Throughout history, only Leonard Euler surpassed Cauchy in terms of the number of individual disquisitions produced, a testament to his extraordinary productivity. Despite facing criticism and even accusations of madness, Cauchy's dedication to rigorous mathematics earned him praise from notable figures such as Niels Henrik Abel, who acknowledged him as the foremost authority on mathematical methodology. Judith Grabiner lauded him for his role in institutionalizing rigorous mathematical standards, while Hans Freudenthal highlighted Cauchy's unparalleled influence, with more mathematical concepts and theorems bearing his name than any other mathematician in history. Scientist number 24 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 11th luminary from France on our list is Claude Bernard. Claude Bernard, an audacious physiologist, revolutionized scientific inquiry by pioneering the use of blind experiments and making groundbreaking discoveries in gastroenterology, neurology, and homeostasis. However, his path to success was fraught with challenges. After the loss of his father, Bernard struggled to find his place, attempting various pursuits including unsuccessful ventures in playwriting before turning to medicine. Under the mentorship of physiologist Francois Magendi, Bernard honed his skills in vivisection and embarked on neurological research. Through independent studies on rabbits, he made significant discoveries regarding the functions of the pancreas and liver in digestion and glucose metabolism, shedding new light on conditions such as diabetes mellitus. Bernard also introduced the concept of physiological constancy, emphasizing the equilibrium maintained by interdependent elements within the body, a principle he termed the milieu interior. A staunch advocate for experimental investigation, Bernard famously referred to laboratories as the temples of science. 
His numerous publications focused on practical applications, advancing cellular physiology and building upon the work of renowned theorists such as Rudolf Virchow and Camillo Golgi. Emphasizing scientific determinism, Bernard standardized blind experiments to ensure reproducibility and eliminate disputed fallacies. In recognition of his immense contributions, Claude Bernard was honored with a state funeral in France, the first scientist to receive such an accolade. His legacy continues to be celebrated through various posthumous honors, cementing his status as a pioneering figure in the field of physiology and scientific inquiry. Scientist number 25 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 12th luminary from France on our list is Louis Pasteur. Louis Pasteur, despite lacking a medical license or formal training in medicine, left an indelible mark on the field of medicine through revolutionary advancements that surpassed all expectations. His groundbreaking sterilization method, known as pasteurization, transformed the landscape of public health by significantly reducing infections at a time when antibiotics were yet unknown. This technique not only saved countless lives but also extended the shelf life of perishable foods, such as milk and beverages, preventing widespread spoilage. While Pasteur's most notable contributions lie in microbiology and medicine, he was originally trained as a chemist and held professorial positions at both Strasbourg and Lille universities in France. His pioneering work on molecular asymmetry elucidated the optical and crystallographic properties of various organic salts, advancing the understanding of chemical structures. Despite occasional criticism from clinicians who were bewildered by his unconventional approach, Pasteur collaborated with medical professionals to ensure that his experiments adhered to established norms and standards. Undeterred by challenges, he ventured into the realms of microbiology, developing vaccines for rabies and anthrax that revolutionized disease prevention. Pasteur's versatility was evident in his seamless navigation between physical and biological sciences, although his clinical achievements often overshadowed his significant contributions to chemistry, physics, and geology. Few realized that he was the first to accurately explain isomerism and molecular chirality, underscoring his multifaceted expertise. In addition to his prolific scientific publications and numerous accolades, Pasteur mentored countless students during his tenure as the Director of Scientific Studies at the École Normale Supérieure in Paris. His enduring legacy is commemorated through various scientific concepts and honors, including the naming of a Martian crater, a lunar crater, and an asteroid in his honor. Scientist number 26 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 13th luminary from France on our list is Henri Becquerel. Henri Becquerel, an engineer by profession, stumbled upon the discovery of radioactivity by chance, but his keen intellect and prepared mind swiftly recognized the significance of his findings. His prior research on the plane polarizations of light had sparked an enduring interest in investigations into phosphorescence, laying the groundwork for his serendipitous discovery. Following Wilhelm Röntgen's confirmation of X-rays in 1896, Becquerel speculated whether uranium salts, known for their phosphorescent properties, emitted similar radiation. His subsequent experiments with uranium salts led to the unexpected revelation of their powerful radioactive properties, marking the beginning of his groundbreaking work in the field of radioactivity. Collaborating with Pierre and Marie Curie on further radioactive research, Becquerel shared in the prestigious 1903 Nobel Prize in Physics, solidifying his place in scientific history. Remarkably, Becquerel was part of a rare scientific dynasty, mirroring the renowned Curies, with multiple generations making significant contributions to the field of physics. Becquerel's lineage boasted accomplished researchers, including his grandfather Antoine Becquerel and father Alexander Becquerel, both of whom made substantial contributions to physics. Even his son, Jean Becquerel, left a lasting impact with his groundbreaking research on the optico-magnetic properties of crystals. Tragically, Henri Becquerel's untimely death in 1908, followed closely by Pierre Curie's demise in 1906, cut short their potential for even greater achievements, leaving Marie Curie to continue their pioneering work in the realm of radioactive research. Becquerel's legacy lives on through his designation as the SI unit for radioactivity, a fitting tribute to his profound contributions to science. Scientist number 27 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 14th luminary from France on our list is Jules-Henri Poincaré. Henri Poincaré, renowned for his intuition and creativity, rightfully earns his place as one of the last universal mathematicians. Even as a child, 
His extraordinary aptitude for mathematics earned him the nickname, the Math Monster, from his schoolteacher. His early triumph in winning the Concours General Competition in France foreshadowed his future impact on the mathematical world. Poincaré's contributions spanned across every branch of mathematics, with particular emphasis on his groundbreaking work in homology and algebraic topology, which garnered widespread acclaim. Delving into theoretical physics, he played a pivotal role in refining fundamental concepts and laying the groundwork for new theories. His establishment of chaos theory and advancements in differential equations solidified his reputation as a visionary thinker. One of Poincaré's most enduring legacies is his formulation of the Poincaré conjecture in 1904, a problem that remained unsolved until Grigory Perelman's breakthrough proof in 2002, earning Perelman the prestigious Fields Medal and the recognition of the mathematical community. Drawing inspiration from Bernhard Riemann's seminal works, Poincaré anticipated the concept of Minkowski space, providing geometric support for Albert Einstein's groundbreaking theory of relativity. He played a pivotal role in elucidating the mass-energy equivalence principle of special relativity, contributing to the theory's early acceptance and widespread recognition. Despite his occasional absent-mindedness, Poincaré remained remarkably innovative and productive, excelling in all branches of mathematics and leaving an indelible mark on the field. His contributions continue to shape various areas of science, with numerous concepts and phenomena bearing his name in recognition of his immense influence. The Poincaré lunar crater, the Poincaré asteroid, and countless scientific concepts stand as enduring tributes to his enduring legacy and unparalleled contributions to the world of mathematics and science. Scientist number 28 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Germany, we have selected 16 exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Johannes Kepler. During the Renaissance era, Johannes Kepler made groundbreaking contributions across various fields including astronomy, mechanics, waves, optics, and mathematical analysis. His profound insights into planetary dynamics using complex mathematics remain highly esteemed today. Similar to his admiration for Nicolaus Copernicus, Kepler's forward-thinking approach placed him ahead of his contemporaries. Notably, he was the first to propose the concept of planets orbiting the Sun in elliptical orbits, dispelling long-held misconceptions dating back to ancient Greece. Kepler also provided the first accurate explanation of tidal wave mechanisms, showcasing his breadth of knowledge and innovative thinking. Despite his pioneering work, Figures like Galileo Galilei and René Descartes initially overlooked his ideas, highlighting the ahead-of-his-time nature of his theories. Tycho Brahe, recognizing Kepler's potential, foresaw his future significance in the field of astronomy. Kepler's profound impact extended beyond his lifetime, influencing notable figures such as Isaac Newton, who found inspiration in Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Newton's subsequent research led to the development of his laws of motion and universal gravitation, Kepler's legacy is commemorated through various astronomical landmarks such as asteroids, moon craters, and spacecraft, as well as in fields like geometry, mechanics, optics, and computing. Even in numerical analysis, Kepler's contributions endure, as evidenced by the formula known as Kepler's Schwarzregel in German, which Anglophones recognize as Simpson's Rule. This demonstrates Kepler's lasting influence and enduring significance in the annals of scientific history. Scientist number 29 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from Germany on our list is Gottfried von Leibniz. Leibniz stands as a towering figure in the realms of arts and sciences, showcasing unparalleled genius across various disciplines. Renowned for his exceptional mathematical prowess, he revolutionized the cumbersome binary system, introducing analytical terms like parameters, functions, variables, and coordinates that are integral to modern mathematics. His expertise was sought by notable figures such as Russia's Tsar, Peter the Great, who enlisted his help in establishing the St. Petersburg Science Academy. In the 17th century, Leibniz's visionary contemplation proposed the existence of a molten core within the Earth, marking a significant milestone in the development of modern geology. He delved into mathematical physics and made significant contributions to symbolic logic, laying the groundwork for future advancements in computing. Among his creations was the pinwheel calculator, demonstrating his innovative spirit and commitment to practical problem solving. Leibniz's foresight extended to fields such as topology, which he anticipated under the concept of geometria situs, predating the work of Leonard Euler. Furthermore, 
His formulation of the principle of least action preceded similar theories by Euler and Pierre-Louis Maupichus by four decades, highlighting his pioneering intellect. Notably, Leibniz independently discovered infinitesimal calculus, contributing extensive writings on the subject that surpassed even Isaac Newton's contributions. His integral comb differential notations are favored today for their simplicity, intuitiveness, and effectiveness, surpassing those of Newton. Remarkably, Leibniz pursued science as a hobby alongside his career as a jurist, drawing inspiration from luminaries like Christian Huygens and Blaise Pascal, whose works he extensively studied. His unparalleled abilities and versatility have earned him recognition as one of the most brilliant minds in history. In tribute to his enduring legacy, the prestigious Leibniz Prize was established in 1985, honoring his profound contributions to science and innovation. This esteemed award serves as a testament to Leibniz's lasting impact on the world of scholarship and intellectual inquiry. Scientist number 30 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from Germany on our list is Carl Friedrich Gauss. In the realm of mathematics, one name reigns supreme. Carl Friedrich Gauss, often hailed as the Princeps Mathematicorum, or the Prince of Mathematicians. From his early years, Gauss exhibited an extraordinary aptitude for unraveling mathematical mysteries that baffled even the most seasoned scholars of his time. Gauss's contributions to mathematics were nothing short of revolutionary. With unparalleled insight and ingenuity, he delved into the deepest realms of mathematical theory, crafting elegant solutions to complex problems and proving theorems that had long eluded his contemporaries. One of Gauss's most notable works is his seminal text, the Disquisitiones Arithmeticae, regarded as a magnum opus of 19th century mathematics. However, despite his groundbreaking achievements, Gauss's perfectionistic tendencies often hindered him from sharing his ideas with the world. He held himself to the highest standards, refusing to publish anything less than flawless work. This perfectionism extended beyond his own endeavors, as Gauss discouraged his own children from pursuing mathematics, fearing they might not meet the lofty standards he had set. Despite his reluctance to publish many of his ideas, Gauss's impact on the field of mathematics was profound and far-reaching. However, Gauss was not without his critics. Some questioned his claims of priority over the discoveries of his contemporaries, while others speculated that his reluctance to publish more prolifically stemmed from a fear of falling short of the legacy of his predecessors, such as the renowned mathematician Leonard Euler. Nevertheless, Gauss's mathematical prowess remains undisputed, a testament to his unparalleled intellect and dedication to the pursuit of mathematical truth. His legacy continues to inspire generations of mathematicians, ensuring that the name of Carl Friedrich Gauss will forever be synonymous with excellence in the field of mathematics. Scientist number 31 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fourth luminary from Germany on our list is Georg Simon Ohm. Georg Simon Ohm, a notable mathematician, gained recognition through his insightful investigations into acoustics and electricity. Influenced by the works of prominent mathematicians such as Leonard Euler, Sylvestre Lacroix, and Pierre-Simon Laplace, he honed his skills and knowledge, particularly under the mentorship of Peter Dirichlet. Interestingly, his brother Martin Ohm also made significant contributions to mathematics, notably developing the complete theory of the exponential ab for complex numbers in 1823. Ohm's fascination with electricity was sparked at a young age, coinciding with the invention of electric batteries by Alessandro Volta when he was just 10 years old. He embarked on a series of experiments, modifying existing apparatus and devising new ones to satisfy his curiosity. Through these endeavors, he made a groundbreaking discovery, the relationship between electric current, voltage, and resistance in a conductor. Ohm found that the current passing through a conductor is directly proportional to the voltage applied across it and inversely proportional to the conductor's resistance. This fundamental principle became known as Ohm's law, and the unit of electrical resistance, the Ohm, was named in his honor. He documented his findings in his seminal work, The Galvanic Circuit Analyzed Mathematically, published in 1827. Beyond his exploration of electricity, Ohm made notable contributions to various fields. His works extended to molecular physics and analytic geometry, particularly concerning the skew coordinate system. His comprehensive understanding and innovative approach earned him commendation and recognition within the scientific community. Today, Georg Simon Ohm is immortalized as the namesake of the Ohm lunar crater, a testament to his enduring legacy and impact on the fields of mathematics and science.
Scientist number 32 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fifth luminary from Germany on our list is Hermann von Helmholtz. Hermann von Helmholtz distinguished himself as a profound and versatile scientist, leaving an indelible mark across multiple disciplines. While his initial pursuit led him to qualify as a medical doctor to fulfill his father's aspirations, his innate prowess in the physical sciences propelled him to publish groundbreaking works in physics and mathematics even as an undergraduate student. Spanning mechanics, magnetism, acoustics, heat, and waves, Helmholtz's curiosity and expertise knew no bounds within the realm of physics. Moreover, his investigations extended into anatomy, physiology, ophthalmology, neurology, and optics, earning him widespread acclaim for his contributions in each field. Not content with these achievements, he ventured into astronomy, meteorology, geography, psychology, and philosophy, demonstrating a relentless thirst for exploration and understanding. Throughout the latter half of the 19th century, Helmholtz served as a revered professor in various academic institutions, where he not only produced a prolific body of work but also nurtured the talents of numerous students, including luminaries such as Max Planck, Heinrich Hertz, Albert Michelson, Arthur Webster, and Wilhelm Wien. His formidable reputation attracted collaborations with researchers from both academic and industrial spheres, resulting in numerous accolades and prizes in recognition of his contributions. In tribute to his seminal work, a multitude of concepts bear his name, including Helmholtz's theorems, Helmholtz equation, Helmholtz reciprocity, Helmholtz resonance, Helmholtz machine, and Helmholtz coil. Furthermore, his legacy is immortalized through celestial features such as the 11,573 Helmholtz asteroid, the 112-kilometer-wide Helmholtz Martian crater, and the 110-kilometer-wide Helmholtz lunar crater, serving as enduring reminders of his profound impact on science and exploration. Scientist number 33 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The sixth luminary from Germany on our list is Georg Bernhard Riemann, Despite facing persistent health issues and living only 39 years, Georg Bernhard Riemann stands out as the preeminent European mathematician of the 19th century, renowned for both his brilliance and productivity. Mentored by esteemed professors such as Carl Gauss, Gustav Jacobi, and others, Riemann displayed unparalleled ingenuity across various fields of mathematics. His contributions to number theory and complex analysis were groundbreaking, impressing even his mentor Gauss. Riemann's pioneering work in differential geometry reshaped the field, while his expansion of non-Euclidean geometry pushed boundaries far beyond his contemporaries' understanding. His concepts, notably in elliptic geometry, were so influential that they became synonymous with his name. Riemann's insights laid the foundation for general relativity, anticipating ideas later explored by Henri Poincaré and Hermann Minkowski, and eventually elucidated by Albert Einstein. Remarkably versatile, Riemann also made significant contributions to topology, astronomy, and mathematical physics. His famous Riemann hypothesis remains one of the most significant unsolved problems in mathematics, a testament to his enduring legacy. Honored posthumously, landmarks such as the Riemann lunar crater and the Riemann minor planet stand as tributes to his memory, immortalizing his immense contributions to the world of mathematics. Scientist number 34 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The seventh luminary from Germany on our list is Robert Koch. Koch's contributions to the field of medicine marked a significant shift from Galen's long-standing miasma theory to the more precise germ theory of diseases. In the 19th century, he formulated what are now recognized as Koch's postulates, revolutionizing the understanding of infectious diseases. Through meticulous experimentation, Koch revealed the prevalence of pathogenic microbes in individuals suffering from infectious diseases. He demonstrated their capacity to be isolated from their hosts and cultivated into pure laboratory cultures capable of inducing similar illnesses in healthy individuals. Furthermore, he illustrated that subsequent isolates from newly infected patients mirrored the pathogens found in the initial hosts. Koch's pioneering research extended to the identification of specific pathogens, including conclusively proving the pathogenicity of Bacillus anthracis and discovering Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Although Vibrio cholerae had been previously isolated by Filippo Pacini, it was Koch's rediscovery, decades later, that brought renewed attention to the bacterium. Transitioning to the study of protozoa, Koch investigated Plasmodium falciparum and Entamoeba histolytica, further expanding the understanding of infectious diseases. Throughout his career, 
Koch remained dedicated to research, influenced by the early guidance of Jakob Hennel, an anatomy professor who emphasized evidence-based medicine. Koch's work not only advanced laboratory techniques but also significantly contributed to improving public health practices and stimulating further research in infectious diseases. His groundbreaking achievements have been honored with prestigious awards, including the Robert Koch Gold Medal for Exceptional Contributions to Biomedical Science and the Robert Koch Prize, recognizing significant biomedical discoveries. Scientist number 35 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The eighth luminary from Germany on our list is Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen. In 1895, Wilhelm Röntgen unveiled the enigmatic properties of X-rays, a component of electromagnetic radiation anticipated by James Clerk Maxwell and verified by Heinrich Hertz. A physicist and engineer by trade, Röntgen stumbled upon X-rays while investigating high-frequency, low-wavelength electromagnetic radiation. Initially confounded by his discovery, Röntgen temporarily designated it as X, a conventional placeholder for unknown entities in mathematics. His formative education under the guidance of August Kant and Rudolf Clausius left an indelible imprint on his approach to scientific inquiry. From Kant, Röntgen imbibed the practice of constructing his laboratory apparatuses, a skill pivotal to his future endeavors. Prior to his foray into radiation research, Röntgen's scholarly pursuits encompassed diverse realms, ranging from exploring the specific heats of gases to delving into the thermal conductivity of crystals and the electrochemical properties of quartz. Additionally, he probed the effects of pressure on the refractive indices of fluids, the modification of planes of electromagnetically polarized light, and the variations in the functions of temperature and the compressibility of fluids. His comprehensive treatises significantly propelled advancements in various scientific disciplines. Röntgen's decision not to patent his revolutionary X-ray discovery, acknowledging its immense medical implications, garnered universal acclaim. His groundbreaking achievement culminated in the awarding of the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1901, marking him as the inaugural recipient of this prestigious honor. In a further testament to his legacy, the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry IUPAC, paid homage to him by christening a synthetic element, Rentgenium, in 2004. Moreover, Rentgen's enduring influence is commemorated by the eponymous Rentgen Lunar Crater, a colossal landmark honoring his monumental contributions alongside other illustrious scientists. Scientist number 36 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The ninth luminary from Germany on our list is Paul Ehrlich. Paul Ehrlich, born a day before Emil von Behring, the esteemed clinician who received the inaugural Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1901 for his development of diphtheria antiserum, was also notably older than Albert Einstein by a quarter of a century. Like Einstein, Ehrlich emerged as one of the preeminent scientists of his era, with contributions to science that arguably have a more direct impact on daily life than those of Einstein. Influenced by the pioneering work of Robert Koch, Ehrlich made groundbreaking advancements in immunology and chemotherapy. He was the first to provide an accurate description of the mechanism behind antibody formation, establishing crucial criteria for therapeutic sera. Additionally, Ehrlich pioneered innovative chemotherapies, earning the moniker of the magic bullet for his targeted approach to treatment. His research in the late 19th century paved the way for unprecedented breakthroughs in the 20th century, significantly extending lifespan and enhancing quality of life. Diseases such as diphtheria and syphilis, once feared for their devastating mortality rates, were brought under control through Ehrlich's discoveries. In 1907, in Ehrlich's laboratory, Albert Bertheim synthesized arspenamin, also known as salversan, a milestone in the treatment of syphilis. Two years later, Sahachiro Hada demonstrated its efficacy against Treponema pallidum, the causative agent of syphilis. These achievements underscore Ehrlich's profound impact on the field of medicine. While Ehrlich made numerous other invaluable contributions to medicine, his unparalleled efforts in combating pathogens through immunology and chemotherapy remain unmatched. The Ehrlich Lunar Crater, spanning 30 kilometers, stands as a tribute to his legacy alongside several other memorials commemorating his enduring influence. Scientist number 37 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The tenth luminary from Germany on our list is Heinrich Hertz. Heinrich Hertz embarked on his scientific journey initially exploring meteorology before transitioning his focus to particle physics. In 1865, James Clerk Maxwell proposed the existence of various electromagnetic radiations, 
yet it remained unproven until Hertz's pioneering work two decades later. Under the guidance of Professor Hermann von Helmholtz, who oversaw his doctoral thesis, Hertz delved into Maxwell's equations in 1879. However, due to the lack of adequate equipment at the time, he temporarily abandoned his efforts to prove the theory. Seven years later, while serving as a professor at Karlsruhe, Hertz constructed the necessary apparatus and successfully identified electromagnetic radiations, confirming their existence and establishing himself as their discoverer. This groundbreaking discovery not only resolved years of speculation but also marked a significant milestone in the fields of electrodynamics and particle physics. Building upon his early successes, Hertz contributed to contact mechanics with his seminal work in 1882, titled, Über die Beruerung Fester Elastischer Körper, which provided valuable insights into the subject. He furthered his research in continuum mechanics, expanding upon the pioneering work of Augustin Louis Cauchy. Additionally, Hertz explored diverse areas of physics, including cathode rays, the photoelectric effect, predating Albert Einstein's work, and the development of what is now known as Hertz's principle of least curvature. Despite his multifaceted contributions to science, Hertz's most notable achievement remains his discovery of electromagnetic radiations. In recognition of his profound impact, the term, Hertz, was designated as the SI unit of wave frequency in 1930. The 90 kilometer wide Hertz lunar crater stands as a lasting tribute to his enduring legacy alongside several other honors commemorating his significant contributions to science. Scientist number 38 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 11th luminary from Germany on our list is Max Planck. Max Planck stands out as one of the most intellectually adept scientists of his time. His formulation of quantum theory not only revolutionized scientific thought but also opened up entirely new avenues for understanding the atomic and subatomic realms. The complexity of his theory was such that even luminaries of his era struggled to grasp its underlying concepts. Albert Einstein himself, despite his brilliance, initially rejected certain aspects of quantum theory and ultimately yielded in a debate to Niels Bohr in December 1925. Even in the 21st century, more than a century after Planck introduced his theory, the full extent of quantum physics remains elusive to scientists. Esteemed researchers like Max Born, Erwin Schrödinger, and Werner Heisenberg have garnered fame and Nobel Prizes by merely advancing small facets of Planck's groundbreaking work. Planck's contributions extended beyond quantum theory. He significantly advanced our understanding of how objects absorb and emit radiation. His endorsement and contributions to Albert Einstein's relativity theory played a crucial role in its acceptance, both in Germany and worldwide. In addition to his work in quantum physics and relativity, Planck made significant contributions to optics, entropy, thermodynamics, and statistical mechanics. He was also a proponent of women's higher education, mentoring notable students like Lies Meitner. Planck's legacy is honored through various accolades and tributes, including Planck's constant, Planck units, and the Max Planck Medal. Furthermore, his name graces the Planckia asteroid and the Planck lunar crater, serving as enduring reminders of his profound impact on the scientific community. Scientist number 39 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 12th luminary from Germany on our list is David Hilbert. Renowned for his groundbreaking contributions, David Hilbert stands shoulder to shoulder with esteemed mathematicians such as Srinivasa Ramanujan and Henri Poincaré, ranking among the greatest minds of the 20th century. His seminal work, including the development of the Hilbert space, has left an indelible mark on various fields, including functional analysis, invariant theory, proof theory, logic, and theoretical physics. Few have matched his sphere of influence and intellectual prowess. As a dedicated educator, Hilbert mentored a host of distinguished students, including Hermann Weyl, John von Neumann, credited with coining the term, Hilbert Space, and Emanuel Lasker, the world chess champion from 1894 to 1921. He also provided invaluable support and encouragement to prominent figures like Emmy Noether and Georg Cantor, particularly during contentious times such as the opposition to Cantor's set theory. During the tumultuous period of the 1930s, Hilbert valiantly sought to aid Jewish academics persecuted by the Nazis. Despite his inability to dissuade the regime's actions, he offered assistance by providing glowing references and recommendations, enabling many to secure employment abroad. Collaborating with Albert Einstein, Hilbert co-developed the Einstein-Hilbert action, 
a pivotal precursor to the Einstein field equations in general relativity. Furthermore, his contributions to algebra have found applications in diverse fields, including physics and computer science. Additionally, his geometrical axioms have supplanted Euclidean inventions that had endured for over two millennia. Hilbert's enduring legacy is celebrated through various honors, including the dedication of the 173-kilometer-wide Hilbert Lunar Crater. His name lives on through countless concepts and conjectures, a testament to his enduring influence and profound impact on the field of mathematics. Scientist number 40 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 13th luminary from Germany on our list is Walther Hermann Nernst. Walther Nernst, akin to the inventive spirit of James Watt, epitomized the essence of a researcher who tirelessly sought practical applications for the concepts he explored. His versatile intellect spanned various domains of mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Although he was primarily recognized as a chemist, having been awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1920. Interestingly, his academic background lay in physics and mathematics, having been influenced by esteemed professors such as Friedrich Kohlrausch and Ludwig Boltzmann. Nernst's groundbreaking achievement, for which he was awarded the Nobel Prize, was his formulation of what would become known as the Nernst Heat Theorem, a fundamental contribution that played a pivotal role in shaping the development of the third law of thermodynamics. In addition to his theoretical contributions, Nernst conducted experiments across diverse fields including adiabatic and solid-state physics, photochemistry, electrochemistry, and spectroscopy, resulting in a plethora of influential publications and the mentorship of numerous students. His intellectual curiosity traversed the entire spectrum of physical sciences, attracting collaborative ventures that showcased his brilliance. Notably, his collaboration with Bechstein and Siemens led to his pioneering work in designing and developing the first electronic piano at the Physics Institute of Humboldt University Berlin in the 1930s, utilizing vacuum tube amplifiers instead of conventional sounding boards. Nernst's close friendships with luminaries such as Albert Einstein and Max Planck underscored his stature within the scientific community. In fact, it was Nernst and Planck who organized the inaugural Solvay Conference in 1911, a seminal gathering chaired by Hendrik Lorentz in Brussels, Belgium. Although he passed away before his colleagues Max Planck, Max von Laue, and Otto Hahn, they were subsequently laid to rest near him in Gatingen a testament to their enduring camaraderie and shared contributions to science. Among the tributes to his legacy are the 24,748 Nernst asteroid and the 116-kilometer-wide Nernst lunar crater, immortalizing his significant impact on the scientific landscape. Scientist number 41 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 14th luminary from Germany on our list is Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein, hailed as the most influential scientist of the 20th century, possessed a brilliant and insightful mind that reshaped our understanding of the universe. From 1905 to 1925, he navigated abstract concepts with unparalleled finesse, fundamentally altering our perception of nature. Even a century later, his revolutionary ideas continued to challenge and intrigue scholars worldwide, underscoring his enduring impact. Building upon the foundational works of Bernhard Riemann and William K. Clifford, Einstein's groundbreaking relativity theory captivated the imagination of the world, garnering unprecedented media attention and public interest in science. Despite the media's tendency to exaggerate, Einstein remained humble and approachable, fostering collaboration and encouraging his colleagues in both academic and social endeavors. Although his genius was evident, Einstein's fame often overshadowed his true scientific achievements. While his work on the photoelectric effect earned him a Nobel Prize, his more profound contributions, particularly in the realm of relativity, went unrecognized by the Nobel Committee. Nevertheless, his legacy as a scientific giant who revolutionized physics remains unparalleled, serving as the benchmark against which scientific brilliance is measured. In addition to his groundbreaking work on relativity, Einstein's diverse interests span statistical mechanics, electrodynamics, optics, and the formulation of the einstein podolsky rosen paradox. His prolific output included approximately 300 publications, a testament to his unparalleled intellect and tireless pursuit of knowledge. Although his quest for a unified field theory and his attempts to challenge certain aspects of quantum physics proved unsuccessful, Einstein's unwavering dedication to unraveling the mysteries of the universe continues to inspire generations of scientists. His enduring legacy is honored through various tributes, including an asteroid and a lunar crater dedicated to his memory, 
serving as enduring reminders of his profound impact on the scientific community. Scientist number 42 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 15th luminary from Germany on our list is Amelie Emmy Noether. Emmy Noether, born into an era when societal barriers impeded women's access to higher education, defied all odds to emerge as a trailblazing mathematician of unparalleled significance. Her extraordinary intellect and groundbreaking contributions propelled mathematics to unprecedented heights, rendering many of her contemporaries seemingly ordinary in comparison. Noether's name has become synonymous with solutions of remarkable ingenuity and unparalleled rigor, establishing her as the greatest female mathematician in history. In the realm of abstract algebra, Noether's prowess remains unrivaled throughout human history. Both her father, Max Noether, and her brother, Fritz Noether, were distinguished mathematics professors, further underscoring the family's remarkable scholarly lineage. Her nephew, Gottfried Noether, continued this legacy as an eminent statistician, leaving behind a significant body of work that included six textbooks. Emmy Noether's contributions to mathematics were nothing short of transformative, with her groundbreaking discoveries reshaping the field in profound ways. Her eponymous theorem proved indispensable to Albert Einstein, aiding him in resolving challenges related to energy conservation in his theory of relativity. Many of her works continue to play a vital role in advancing physics and engineering disciplines. Despite her relatively short life of 53 years, Emmy Noether's intellectual legacy continues to inspire awe among mathematicians. Revered figures such as Paul Gordon, Richard Dedekind, David Hilbert, and Herman Weyl held her in high esteem, recognizing her unparalleled contributions to the field. She is commemorated through numerous concepts and theorems bearing her name, in addition to the honor of having a minor planet, 7001 Noether, and a lunar impact crater, 67 kilometers wide, named in her honor. No honor could be too grand for this supreme genius, whose methodologies have unified various branches of pure and applied mathematics, leaving an indelible mark on the discipline for generations to come. Scientist number 43 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 16th luminary from Germany on our list is Werner von Braun. Werner von Braun stands as the preeminent figure in rocket science, his lifelong fascination with projectiles guiding him toward the realm of aeronautics. Graduating as a mechanical engineer in the 1930s, von Braun's dreams of space travel were temporarily overshadowed by the militaristic priorities of Nazi Germany, which focused on weaponry over exploration. Stationed at the Pienemwende Research Center in northern Germany, von Braun led the development of the V-2 rockets, quickly establishing himself as the world's foremost rocket scientist, surpassing his childhood hero Hermann Oberth. With substantial resources allocated to the Pienemwende projects, Von Braun explored innovative ballistic avenues as Hitler's regime expanded its belligerence. Following World War II, Von Braun was swiftly recruited by the U.S. Army, though his full potential was initially underutilized. However, with the Soviet Union taking the lead in the space race, Von Braun's expertise was soon recognized, and his team played a pivotal role in restoring American pride with the development of the rockets that propelled the first man to the moon. From the Juno-1 rocket launching the Explorer-1 satellite in 1958 to the monumental Saturn V that carried the Apollo 11 spacecraft to the moon in 1969, von Braun's contributions captivated the world, earning him the title of the father of rocket science. His achievements extended beyond space exploration, as he became a multi-award winning director and chief architect at NASA, advocating for human missions to Mars. Among the numerous tributes to his legacy, the 60-kilometer-wide von Braun lunar crater stands as a fitting monument to his enduring impact on the field of rocket science and human exploration of space. Scientist number 44 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Greece, we have selected one exceptional scientist to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The only luminary on our list is Hippocrates of Cus. Werner von Braun is hailed as one of the most influential rocket scientists in history, with his relentless pursuit of space exploration shaping the trajectory of human endeavors beyond Earth's atmosphere. Despite the societal barriers of his time, von Braun's unwavering fascination with projectiles and aeronautics propelled him to the forefront of rocket science. Graduating as a mechanical engineer in the 1930s, von Braun's aspirations for space travel were initially overshadowed by the militaristic objectives of Nazi Germany, directing his expertise towards the development of V-2 rockets at the Pienemwende Research Center. 
His ingenuity and visionary leadership quickly elevated him to the pinnacle of rocket science, surpassing even his childhood inspiration, Hermann Oberth. As World War II unfolded and Hitler's ambitions escalated, von Braun's pioneering work at Pienemwende received significant resources, allowing him to explore groundbreaking advancements in ballistic technology. Following the war, von Braun's talents were recognized by the U.S. Army, eventually leading him to play a crucial role in the American space program. Despite initial underutilization of his capabilities, von Braun's expertise became instrumental in restoring American dominance in the space race. His visionary leadership and technical prowess propelled the development of iconic rockets such as the Juno-1 and the monumental Saturn V, culminating in the historic Apollo 11 mission that landed the first humans on the moon. Von Braun's contributions extended far beyond space exploration, as he became a leading figure at NASA, advocating for ambitious missions to Mars and shaping the future of human spaceflight. His enduring legacy is commemorated by numerous accolades, including the naming of the 60-kilometer-wide Von Braun Lunar Crater, a testament to his indelible impact on the field of rocket science and humanity's quest for the stars. Scientist number 45 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Hungary, we have selected one exceptional scientist to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The only luminary on our list is John von Neumann. John von Neumann, an iconic genius and consummate mathematician, emerged as the foremost techie of his generation, transitioning from a child prodigy to one of the leading scientists of the 20th century. His unparalleled contributions traversed a multitude of fields, including analysis, geometry, topology, matrix theory, game theory, statistics, and hydrodynamics. Von Neumann's mastery extended across both pure and applied mathematics, pioneering advancements in computer science while making significant strides in quantum physics. Collaborating with luminaries such as Paul Dirac, Von Neumann played a pivotal role in establishing the rigorous mathematical framework for quantum mechanics, generalizing the spectral theorem for use in operator theory and proving the groundbreaking Minimax theorem. His mathematical models were instrumental in the nuclear and thermonuclear research of the Manhattan Project, earning him recognition from both the U.S. Army and the Air Force, who sought his consultancy services. Von Neumann's visionary insights into artificial intelligence led to the development of cellular automata and groundbreaking contributions to linear programming and stochastic computing. Alongside Alan Turing and Claude Shannon, he co-invented the concept of storable computer programs, while also pioneering the application of finite element analysis, pseudo-random number generation, and the merge sort algorithm to computing. His prolific scientific output encompassed over 150 publications, cementing his legacy as one of the most influential figures in modern science and technology. In recognition of his outstanding achievements, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers named its medal for exceptional contributions to computer-related science and technology in his honor. Additionally, Von Neumann's impact is commemorated through the eponymous 22,824 von Neumann Minor Planet and the von Neumann Lunar Crater, serving as enduring tributes to his unparalleled legacy. Scientist number 46 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From India, we have selected four exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Aryabhata. Aryabhata, a mathematical and astronomical prodigy, left a lasting legacy despite the scarcity of surviving writings from his time. His seminal work, the Aryabhatiya, composed when he was in his early twenties, stands as a testament to his brilliance in both mathematics and astronomy. While much of his work followed geocentric principles, his assertion of the Earth's daily rotation and the reflection of light on celestial bodies proved prescient. Despite the loss of many of his writings, references, translations, and citations attest to his significant contributions. Aryabhata's influence extended across Asia and played a pivotal role in shaping the Islamic Golden Age. Scholars such as Brahmagupta, Bhaskaracharya II, Al-Khwarizmi, and Al-Biruni drew upon his methodologies in various fields including astronomy, trigonometry, geometry, arithmetic, and algebra. Many modern trigonometric functions owe their origins to terminologies he introduced. In recognition of his contributions, numerous tributes have been dedicated to Aryabhata. The lunar impact crater Aryabhata, measuring 22 kilometers in diameter, honors his memory, as does India's Research Institute of Observational Sciences. Additionally, India's first satellite, launched aboard Cosmos 3M in 1975, 
bears his name. Scientist number 47 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from India on our list is Brahmagupta. Brahmagupta, renowned as the preeminent mathematician of his time, made significant strides in astronomy and trigonometry, particularly in the calculation of celestial positions. He was a trailblazer in introducing symbolic expressions in his treatises on geometry, arithmetic, and algebra, independent of Diophantus' earlier work. While many of his writings have been lost, those that remain highlight his fascination with quadrilaterals, leading to several contemporary theorems bearing his name, including the formula for the area of a cyclic quadrilateral. His most notable contribution, alongside luminaries like Liu Wei and Zhang Kang, was the depiction of decimals, zero, and negative numbers as essential mathematical entities in his work, Ramasvata Siddhanta. A century after his death, his astronomical treatise was translated into Arabic by the astronomer Muhammad al-Fazari, preserving his insights for future generations. This translation influenced scholars like Muhammad al-Khwarizmi, who utilized Brahmagupta's ideas to develop further mathematical concepts, leading to the dissemination of Indian arithmetic through al-Khwarizmi's work, Al-Jam Wal Tafriq by Hassal al-Hind, later translated into Latin as, Algorithmi de Numero Indorum, and widely circulated in Europe. Brahmagupta's contribution to the spread of the decimal system remains a testament to his mathematical prowess. Despite his renown in mathematics, Brahmagupta's expertise in astronomy is equally impressive. His exegesis, Khandahadyaka, beautifully complements Aryabhata's work, Ardharatri Kapaksa, demonstrating his depth of knowledge in both fields. Numerous mathematical concepts bear his name, underscoring his enduring influence on mathematics and astronomy alike. Scientist number 48 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from India on our list is Madhava of Sangamagrama. Madhava, a visionary scholar, made profound contributions to mathematics and astronomy during his era. He not only built upon the works of his predecessors but also laid the groundwork for future scholars by establishing the renowned Kerala School of Astronomy and Mathematics in Kerala, India. This institution, celebrated for centuries, rivaled and often exceeded many esteemed European universities in both mathematical and astronomical achievements. Madhava's most notable achievement lies in the advancement of infinite series during the 14th century, a breakthrough that revolutionized mathematics. He expanded trigonometric functions and is credited with discovering what is now known as the Madhava series, recognized by Europeans as the Leibniz series, predating Gottfried von Leibniz by 250 years. Additionally, Madhava made significant contributions to algebra and geometry, refining Bhaskara II's works and laying the groundwork for preliminary calculus. While none of Madhava's original mathematical treatises have survived, References and citations from his successors offer valuable insights into his contributions. It is evident that many discoveries credited to later European mathematicians, such as James Gregory and Colin Maclaurin, were already known to Madhava. In astronomy, Madhava's surviving monographs, such as Venvaro and Chandravakyani, focused on the trajectories of planets and their moons. Through the Kerala school, he exerted a posthumous influence on several generations of scholars, including esteemed researchers like Parameshvara Nambudiri and Nilakantha Somayaji. Madhava's immense contributions and lasting influence firmly establish him as one of the greatest mathematical astronomers in history. Scientist number 49 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fourth luminary from India on our list is Srinivasa Ramanujan. Ramanujan, widely regarded as the greatest mathematical genius in human history, astounded the world with his unparalleled mathematical abilities. Remarkably, as a teenager, he delved into advanced mathematics independently, without formal tutoring or a prescribed syllabus. His extraordinary contributions spanned various fields, including analysis and number theory, revolutionizing 20th century mathematics. Initially unknown, Ramanujan's talents drew the attention of Godfrey Hardy, the Sadlerian professor of mathematics at Cambridge, who became his mentor. Hardy was astonished to discover that Ramanujan, largely self-taught, had independently rediscovered numerous known theorems, unaware of their prior existence. To establish his originality, Ramanujan produced a multitude of groundbreaking works, solving previously unsolvable problems and introducing thousands of new equations and identities. Despite his tragically short life of only 32 years, Ramanujan's legacy looms large, with his vast body of work continuing to inspire and challenge mathematicians for centuries. 
His theorems were so profound that proving just one of them could elevate a professor to fame. John Littlewood, a distinguished Cambridge professor, marveled at Ramanujan's brilliance, declaring that every positive integer is among Ramanujan's personal friends. Their correspondence revealed the depth of Ramanujan's genius, with Hardy describing his letters as the most remarkable he had ever received and admitting that Ramanujan's theorems often confounded him. Ramanujan attributed his exceptional intellect and achievements to divine inspiration, believing that equations held meaning only if they expressed the thoughts of God. In essence, Srinivasa Ramanujan's unparalleled mathematical prowess and extraordinary accomplishments continue to inspire awe and reverence in the world of mathematics. Scientist number 50 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Iran, we have selected four exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi. Muhammad al-Khwarizmi, a Persian scholar, profoundly influenced European civilization with his advancements in mathematics long before the era of European colonization. Renowned for his exceptional mathematical prowess, he revolutionized various fields, including Hari quadrants, trigonometric tables, and the introduction of the Hindu decimal system to Europe. His surname, Al-Khwarizmi, gave rise to the term, algorithm, highlighting the extent of his influence. Al-Khwarizmi's seminal work, Al-Jab, known in full as, Al-Khattab al-Muqtasar fi Hasab al-Jab wal Muqabala, became the cornerstone of algebra, earning him the title of the father of modern algebra. His contributions were instrumental during the Islamic Golden Age, a period of enlightenment that preceded the European Renaissance by half a millennium. As an inspirational author and mentor, Al-Khwarizmi played a pivotal role in advancing mathematical knowledge in medieval Europe. His works influenced prominent mathematicians such as Abu Kamil ibn Aslam Shuja, who applied irrational numbers to equations, and Leonardo Fibonacci, known for popularizing Asian mathematical methods in Europe, which Al-Khwarizmi had translated, improved, and preserved. Although Al-Khwarizmi's reputation primarily rests on his mathematical achievements, he also made significant contributions to astronomy, geography, and other sciences. Honors such as the 11,156 Al-Khwarizmi asteroid and the 56-kilometer-wide Al-Khwarizmi lunar crater commemorate his legacy, along with numerous concepts, awards, and research centers named in his honor. Scientist number 51 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from Iran on our list is Abu Rehan al-Biruni. Abu Rehan al-Biruni, an extraordinarily ingenious and versatile scholar, stands as one of the greatest scientists of the Middle Ages, leaving an indelible mark across various disciplines including mathematics, astronomy, philosophy, linguistics, medicine, and pharmacy. While his exploration in medicine and pharmacy complemented the work of his Persian contemporary Avicenna, his primary focus remained on mathematics, mechanics, and astronomy, with nearly two-thirds of his attributed 150 pamphlets dedicated to these subjects. As a polymath, Al-Biruni's brilliance extended beyond scientific realms, enabling him to invent horological and hydrostatic tools and compile some of the earliest known encyclopedias spanning astronomy, biology, pharmacology, geology, and sociology. In astronomy, he pioneered methods for using lunar eclipses and longitudinal observations to calculate the Earth's radius and was among the first to apply the law of signs to solve astronomical problems. His vast publications, which purportedly included 12,000 tracts, furthered the works of Archimedes, particularly in elementary algebra, arithmetic, and geometry, while also contributing significantly to the early development of Earth sciences, particularly geodesy. Al-Biruni's meticulous measurements and inventions, including tools for accurately gauging the specific gravity of metals and minerals, attest to his wide-ranging intellect and practical contributions to scientific knowledge. Despite the loss of many of his publications, those that survive offer valuable insights into his sagacity and the breadth of his research. Translated into major languages, these surviving works continue to be studied and admired across continents. In recognition of his intellectual contributions, numerous honors bear his name, including the 77-kilometer-wide Al-Biruni lunar crater and the 9,936 Al-Biruni asteroid, serving as enduring tributes to his enduring legacy. Scientist number 52 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from Iran on our list is Avicenna of Persia, Ibn Sina. Avicenna, 
revered as an iconic physician and pioneer of modern medicine, remains one of history's most celebrated scholars. While commonly known by the westernized name, Avicenna, his true surname is Ibn Sina. As a polymath, he made significant contributions across diverse fields including mathematics, astronomy, alchemy, geology, philosophy, theology, and literature, showcasing his wide-ranging intellect. His correspondences with mentors like Abu Rehan al-Biruni and protégés such as Ahmad ibn al-Masumi provide valuable insights into the collaborative nature of scholarship during his era. Regrettably, half of the nearly 500 publications attributed to him did not survive the tumultuous events of the past millennium, including wars and upheavals. Among Avicenna's most renowned works is, The Canon of Medicine, an exhaustive clinical encyclopedia that remained a standard university text worldwide for over five centuries after his death. Another significant text, The Book of Healing, was widely imported, translated, and utilized across Europe under the Latin name, Sufficientia, for several decades. Avicenna's influence transcended generations, with his methods continuing to be learned and practiced globally well into the 19th century. Only with the advent of modern evidence-based medicine in the 20th century did his approaches begin to decline in favor of more intrusive research practices. In recognition of his enduring legacy, numerous honors bear his name, including the 2755 Avicenna asteroid, the 74-kilometer-wide Avicenna lunar crater, and Avicenna Bay in the Palmer Archipelago of Antarctica, serving as lasting tributes to his contributions to human knowledge and understanding. Scientist number 53 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fourth luminary from Iran on our list is Nasir al-Din al-Tusi. Nasir al-Din al-Tusi, esteemed as one of the greatest intellectuals of the Islamic Golden Age, possessed remarkable astuteness, versatility, and improvisational skills across various disciplines. Recognized as a jack of all trades and master of all, he made significant contributions to both the arts and sciences. Al-Tusi's groundbreaking work in mathematics and astronomy established him as the first to demonstrate the independence of trigonometry from astronomy. His treatise on the quadrilateral introduced spherical trigonometry in a revolutionary manner, earning him the title of the father of trigonometry. He devised the renowned Tusi couple, a geometrical innovation that replaced Ptolemy Equant and revolutionized planetary motion studies, providing crucial insights later utilized by Copernicus in his investigations of astrophysics. Beyond astronomy, Al-Tusi's research delved into biology, pioneering early studies in genetics and taxonomy. He categorized living organisms into plants, animals, and humans, showcasing his breadth of scientific inquiry. Inspired by the works of Avicenna, Al-Tusi's tireless research spanned mathematics, medicine, chemistry, and physics, laying the groundwork for the Renaissance and subsequent centuries of discoveries. Notably, Al-Tusi's assertion that, a body of matter cannot disappear completely, anticipates the modern law of conservation of mass, underscoring his prescience in scientific principles. In recognition of his extraordinary achievements, honors such as the 60-kilometer-wide Nasreddin lunar crater and the 10,269 Tusi minor planet serve as enduring tributes to his enduring legacy and profound impact on human knowledge and understanding. Scientist number 54 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Iraq, we have selected two exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Abu Yusuf al-Kindi. Abu Yusuf al-Kindi, a remarkable polymath of the Islamic Golden Age, stands as one of history's most versatile scholars, excelling across a multitude of disciplines from arts and sciences to commerce and administration. His prolific contributions left indelible marks in fields as diverse as medicine, mathematics, statistics, optics, ethics, logic, astronomy, agriculture, literature, cryptography, philosophy, theology, geology, meteorology, linguistics, and even music, encompassing over 300 treatises. Ranked behind only Al-Khwarizmi and Ibn Aslam Shuja, Al-Kindi played a pivotal role in disseminating Indo-Arabic numerals throughout the Arabian Peninsula, Persia, and beyond. He was a trailblazer in statistics, showcasing its analytical power centuries before its wider recognition by scholars like Girolamo Cardana and Christian Huygens. His groundbreaking works from cryptography were centuries ahead of their time, remaining influential until the era of European successors such as Blaise Pascal, Gottfried Leibniz, Charles Babbage, Ada Lovelace, 
John von Neumann, and Alan Turing. Al-Kindi's influence extended to optics, with Alhazen, often referred to as the father of optics, learning from his introductory work on optics, known as De Radiis Stellarum, in Latin. Although the majority of Al-Kindi's original publications have been lost, translated versions and references by subsequent scholars provide insights into his vast contributions. Some of his surviving English translations include the Manuscript on Deciphering Cryptographic Messages, the Treatise on the Judgment of Eclipses, and the Book of Chemistry of Perfumes and Distillations. Despite the loss of much of his original work, Al-Kindi's enduring legacy continues to inspire and influence scholars across diverse fields of study. Scientist number 55 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary on our list is Alhazen ibn al-Haytham, Alhazen ibn al-Haytham, a superb polymath and illustrious pace-setter, illuminated the paths of scholars who followed him, earning admiration as an ingenious icon across the Islamic world. Despite being nicknamed Ptolemaeus Secundus by medieval scholars, implying a comparison to Claudius Ptolemy, Alhazen surpassed him in every aspect of science and mathematics. His extensive works encompassed a wide range of disciplines including mathematics, physics, and philosophy, influencing prominent European scientists such as Roger Bacon, Riggio Montanus, Nicolaus Copernicus, Johannes Kepler, and Isaac Newton. Irrefutably the greatest and most influential scientist of the Middle Ages, Alhazen's Book of Optics was hailed as the most important work on mathematical physics before Newton's Principia Mathematica emerged centuries later. He made significant contributions to astronomy, geometry, algebra, and arithmetic with his ideas borrowed by notable figures including Galileo Galilei, Marin Mersen, René Descartes, Omar Khayyam, and his protégé Abu al-Fath al-Khazini. As an engineer, Alhazen was entrusted with the task of remedying the overflowing river Nile during the reign of al-Hakim by Amr Allah, showcasing his practical skills alongside his intellectual pursuits. While many of his works were lost over time, surviving texts reveal his explorations in diverse fields such as theology, literature, agriculture, geodesy, mechanics, and medicine. In recognition of his contributions to science, both the 32-kilometer-wide Alhazen lunar crater and the 59,239 Alhazen asteroid were dedicated to him. Additionally, in 2015, commemorating his 1,050th birth anniversary, UNESCO honored him as the father of optics, further cementing his legacy as one of history's most influential thinkers and scholars. Scientist number 56 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Ireland, we have selected one exceptional scientist to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The only luminary on our list is Robert Boyle. Robert Boyle emerged as one of the pioneering figures to transition from alchemy to modern chemistry, driven by his fervent enthusiasm for scientific inquiry. Recognizing the greater interest in scientific experiments in 17th century England compared to Ireland, Boyle relocated to England, where he became one of the most prolific experimenters of his time, preceding notable figures like Antoine Lavoisier and Michael Faraday. Alongside John Wilkins, Alexander Bruce, and Christopher Wren, he played a pivotal role in founding the London Royal Society, contributing to the establishment of modern scientific principles. Boyle's expansive exploration across all branches of natural philosophy laid the groundwork for modern science, influencing contemporaries like Thomas Sydenham and Isaac Barrow, as well as his laboratory assistant Robert Hooke, who later formulated Hooke's law of elasticity. His mentorship also extended to Ambrose Godfrey Hankwitz, an industrial chemist credited with inventing the fire extinguisher. In addition to his renowned gas law experiments, Boyle conducted research in waves, optics, acoustics, hydrostatics, magnetism, and compound analysis, aligning with the corpuscularianism philosophy embraced by René Descartes and Isaac Newton. Although Boyle had an interest in biology and dedicated years to studying anatomy and physiology, he limited his experimentation to physiology, avoiding VV sections and dissections due to personal aversions. Throughout his life, Boyle engaged in intermittent philosophical and theological inquiries, reflected in his personal notes. His enduring contributions to science are honored through tributes such as the 57-kilometer-wide Boyle lunar crater and the 11,967 Boyle planetoid, serving as testaments to his lasting impact on the field of chemistry and scientific inquiry as a whole. Scientist number 57 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Italy, 
we have selected seven exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Girolamo Cardano. Girolamo Cardano, one of the most versatile scientists of the Renaissance period, distinguished himself as a jack of all trades and master of all, making pioneering contributions to mathematics, physics, chemistry, and biology, inspiring generations of researchers in the process. His foundational work in algebra, arithmetic, and geometry laid the groundwork for future mathematicians, while his establishment of probability theory and the binomial theorem provided essential frameworks for Pierre de Fermat, Blaise Pascal, Isaac Newton, Gottfried Leibniz, and the Bernoulli brothers to build upon. Cardano's recognition of the utility of negative numbers, notably in his exploration of cubic and quartic equations, marked him as a visionary in mathematics. As a polymath, he applied his extensive scientific knowledge to innovate early combination locks, demonstrating his ingenuity in engineering. His keen interest in biology led him to practice medicine, where he conducted groundbreaking research on typhoid fever, despite lacking a medical license. His contributions to medicine were esteemed, earning him admission to the Royal College of Physicians. Delving into alchemy and the precursors of modern chemistry, Cardano's diverse interests extended to physics, particularly in astronomy, where he also excelled as an equipment maker, designing gadgets like gimbals and propeller shafts, known as Cardan shafts in his honor. Among his 200-plus treatises, De Proportionibus, published in 1570, focused on hypocycloids, showcasing his mathematical prowess. In a strange turn of events, Girolamo Cardano reportedly predicted his own death by suicide. Despite this tragic end, his enduring contributions are commemorated by the 50-kilometer-wide Cardanus lunar crater, serving as a testament to his remarkable legacy in the annals of science. Scientist number 58 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from Italy on our list is Galileo Galilei. Galileo Galilei, widely acclaimed as the father of modern science, revolutionized the fields of mathematics and physics, challenging prevailing myths with empirical facts despite facing opposition from the Catholic Church. His steadfast commitment to truth and evidence ushered in an era of scientific scrutiny, research, and candor, setting a precedent for future scientists. Galileo's influence extended beyond his own time, inspiring a young Isaac Newton who revered him and adopted his investigative methodologies. Newton famously acknowledged Galileo as the giant on whose shoulders he stood to see farther. In addition to defending scientific truths at great personal risk, Galileo made enduring contributions to astronomy and mechanics, conclusively proving the uniform acceleration of falling bodies and inventing the water thermoscope a precursor to the thermometer. His pioneering work with magnifiers led to the coining of the term, microscope, in 1625 by Giovanni Faber, while Christian Huygens developed the pendulum clock after studying Galileo's works. Even centuries later, Albert Einstein praised Galileo and Newton for indirectly influencing the concept of relativity. Galileo's legacy is rooted in his commitment to probity, emphasizing careful observation, meticulous experimentation, and rigorous analysis as the foundation of scientific inquiry. Numerous honors, including a spacecraft, an asteroid, four Jupiter moons, and the 16-kilometer-wide Galilei lunar crater, commemorate his contributions to science. Among his protégés is Vincenzo Viviani, who influenced Isaac Barrow, Cambridge's inaugural Lucasian professor of mathematics, and mentored Isaac Newton, highlighting Galileo's enduring impact on future generations of scientists. Scientist number 59 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from Italy on our list is Joseph Louis Lagrange. Joseph Louis Lagrange, born Giuseppe Lodovico Lagrange in Turin, Italy, but later adopting the French version of his name, emerged as a prime mover in mathematics and physics during the 18th century. Initially trained in law, Lagrange developed a profound interest in mathematics, becoming largely self-taught and displaying exceptional proficiency from a young age. At the age of 19, he was appointed as a tutor, marking the beginning of his illustrious career. Lagrange's expertise spanned number theory, analysis, and rational mechanics, earning him recognition from luminaries such as Leonard Euler, his academic advisor, and Jean La Ronde d'Alembert, his mentor. Upon Euler's recommendation, Lagrange succeeded him as the math director of the Berlin Academy of Sciences in 1766, where he spent the next two decades producing groundbreaking works in mathematics and mathematical physics. Returning to France in 1787, 
Lagrange joined the Paris Academy of Sciences and published his influential masterpiece, Mécanique Analytique, in 1788, written during his time in Berlin. This seminal work transformed both classical and celestial mechanics, solidifying Lagrange's reputation as a leading figure in the field. His other acclaimed treatises, including Theory des Functions Analytiques and Resolution des Equations Numériques, further underscored his profound contributions to mathematics. As a professor at the École Polytechnique Paris, established in 1794, Lagrange continued his research, particularly in calculus of variations, where he consolidated the variation of parameters. He also devised innovative applications of differential calculus to solve problems in the theory of probabilities. Lagrange's legacy as one of the preeminent mathematicians of the 18th century is undeniable, with few peers matching his brilliance and influence. Among his contemporaries, only Leonard Euler surpassed Lagrange in shaping the mathematical landscape of the era, cementing Lagrange's place in the annals of mathematical history. Scientist number 60 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fourth luminary from Italy on our list is Luigi Galvani. Luigi Galvani, though not the inventor of the electric battery, played a pivotal role in its development, earning him recognition as one of the most influential figures of the 18th century. Inadvertently, on November 6, 1787, Galvani observed the generation of electricity when different metals were connected to the muscles of a dead frog. While he misinterpreted the phenomenon, attributing it to the frog itself, his observations provided crucial insights that paved the way for Alessandro Volta to correct the misconception and conceive the idea of batteries. Galvani's experiments with dead frog tissues led to the invention of the frog galvanoscope, laying the foundation for the modern galvanometer, an instrument used to detect electric current. His significant contributions earned him the eponyms of galvanization and other related terms, underscoring his profound influence on the development of electricity. Although renowned as a distinguished professor of surgery and anatomy, Galvani's experimentation with animal electricity remained a lifelong pursuit. His notable publications, including De Viribus Electricitatis in Motu Musculari Commentarius and Memory Sulla Electricita Animal, further solidified his legacy in the field. In recognition of his contributions, numerous honors bear his name, including the Galvani Potential, the Luigi Galvani Medal awarded by the Italian Chemical Society, the 10184 Galvani Asteroid, and the 80-kilometer-wide Galvani Lunar Crater, commemorating his enduring impact on science and technology. Scientist number 61 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fifth luminary from Italy on our list is Alessandro Volta, Alessandro Volta's legacy as a pioneering experimenter is rooted in his ability to capitalize on opportunities and decipher phenomena that eluded others. His fame largely stems from his groundbreaking insights into electricity, contrasting with the misinterpretations of his compatriot, Luigi Galvani. Galvani's observation of electricity generated by connecting different metals to the muscles of a dead frog initially led to misconceptions about animal-generated current. However, Volta astutely recognized the electrolytic nature of the phenomenon, attributing it to the interaction between electrodes, metals, and electrolytes, aqueous substances in tissues. Volta's experiments, including replicating the process without animal tissues and using brine as an electrolyte, revealed crucial insights. He identified silver and zinc as effective electrodes for electrolysis, leading to the development of the first electrical cell, known then as the voltaic cell and today as the battery. The significance of Volta's invention cannot be overstated, with batteries becoming indispensable in modern technology, from cars to cell phones. Despite his pioneering contributions to electricity, Volta's other accomplishments, such as identifying and isolating methane, are often overshadowed. Impressed by his achievements, Napoleon Bonaparte conferred upon Volta the titles of Count and Senator of Lombardy. Numerous honors, including the 8,208 Volta asteroid and the 123-kilometer-wide Volta lunar crater, commemorate his enduring legacy in the scientific community. Scientist number 62 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The sixth luminary from Italy on our list is Amadeo Avogadro. Amadeo Avogadro, a distinguished physics professor, passed away just one day before Nikola Tesla's birth, on the eve of his 80th birthday. Like many great scientists, Avogadro initially pursued studies in religion and law before finding his calling in science. Building upon the works of his predecessors, including Joseph Louis Gay-Lussac and John Dalton, 
Avogadro made significant contributions to molecular theory. Avogadro's renowned hypothesis, sometimes referred to as a law, revolutionized the field of physical chemistry by distinguishing between atoms and molecules, a distinction often blurred in his time. His insights into equal volumes of gases containing equal numbers of molecules laid the groundwork for modern particle physics. Despite initial lack of interest from his contemporaries, André-Marie Ampère's rediscovery of Avogadro's work prompted a re-evaluation of his contributions. Subsequent experiments in organic chemistry by Auguste Laurent and Charles Frederick Gerhardt provided empirical support for Avogadro's hypothesis. It wasn't until Stanislao Cannizzaro's detailed exposition in 1860 that Avogadro's research gained widespread recognition. His insights not only aided in determining atomic and molecular masses but also reconciled conflicting theories proposed by Dalton and Gay-Lussac. Avogadro's profound impact on molecular theory is commemorated by the Avogadrite mineral and the 139-kilometer-wide Avogadro lunar crater, honoring his enduring legacy as a pioneer in the field of chemistry and physics. Scientist number 63 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The seventh luminary on our list is Enrico Fermi. Enrico Fermi's journey from indecision as an undergraduate to becoming one of the greatest physicists of the 20th century is nothing short of remarkable. Initially drawn to mathematics before transitioning to physics, he received guidance from luminaries such as Luigi Puccianti, Max Born, and Paul Ehrenfest. Fermi's brilliance manifested in both theoretical insights and practical experiments, spanning areas such as spectroscopy, statistical mechanics, and electrodynamics. Building on Wolfgang Pauli's suggestion of an electrically neutral subatomic particle with negligible mass, Fermi expanded this concept, coining the term, neutrino, and formulating Fermi's theory of beta decay. His groundbreaking experiments on atomic nuclei led to the discovery of, slow neutrons, demonstrating that many elements undergo nuclear transformations when bombarded with neutrons. This discovery paved the way for Otto Hahn's research on nuclear fission and facilitated the accurate identification of missing elements in the periodic table. Fermi's pivotal role in scientific advancements led to his involvement in the Manhattan Project, where he supervised groundbreaking research. His achievements earned him numerous accolades, including the 1938 Nobel Prize in Physics. Additionally, he is commemorated through terms such as fermions, Fermi paradox, and the Fermi Award the highest honor bestowed by the USA Atomic Energy Commission. Scientist number 64 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Japan, we have selected one exceptional scientist to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The only luminary on our list is Seiki Koa Takakazu. Seiki Koa Takakazu, often hailed as Japan's greatest mathematician and likened to Isaac Newton, made indelible contributions during the Tokugawa shogunate. Japan's feudal era from 1603 to 1868. Despite being a scion of samurai lineage, he embodied humility and courtesy alongside his prodigious mathematical talents. Renowned for reinventing Wasan, traditional Japanese mathematics, Seiki Koa Takakazu developed Enri, Japan's equivalent of calculus, before the ascendancy of European mathematical methods. Remarkably, he worked independently on problems similar to those tackled by luminaries like Isaac Newton, Gottfried Leibniz, and the Bernoullis, albeit far removed from the European intellectual milieu. His expertise spanned mathematical astronomy, trigonometry, geometry, and algebra, with notable contributions to each field. Seiki Koa Takakazu's influential publication, Hatsubi Sampo, provided rigorous solutions and proofs for various mathematical problems, showcasing his meticulous approach. Beyond his scholarly endeavors, he dedicated himself to education, using Chinese and Japanese textbooks to impart mathematical and astronomical knowledge to students like Takebi Kenko. Today, Seiki Koa Takakazu is revered in Japan, and his magnificent works continue to inspire mathematicians worldwide. The 18-kilometer-wide 7483 Seiki asteroid stands as a tribute to his enduring legacy and profound impact on mathematics. Scientist number 65 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Netherlands, we have selected three exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Christian Huygens. Christian Huygens, an eminent 17th-century scholar, made profound contributions to mathematics, physics, and philosophy. 
His intellectual pursuits led him to correspond with luminaries such as Pierre de Fermat, Blaise Pascal, and René Descartes, and to teach mathematics to a young Gottfried von Leibniz. Inspired by Galileo's works, Huygens constructed the first pendulum clock, a marvel of precision that remained the standard timekeeping device for nearly three centuries. Additionally, he independently developed the balance spring watch, showcasing his ingenuity in horology. In the realm of optics, Huygens proposed his wave theory of light, which was well received by the Paris Science Academy. His proficiency as a lens maker facilitated exchanges of ideas with Baruch Spinoza and Antony van Leeuwenhoek. With his telescope, he conducted groundbreaking observations of Mars and Saturn, including the discovery of Saturn's rings and its largest moon, Titan. Huygens' mathematical contributions spanned geometry, algebra, statistics, and applied mathematics. He conducted research on the motion of objects, collisions, and gravity, becoming the first European to formulate mathematical equations to express physical laws. Despite his relatively modest publication output, Huygens authored the first European book on probability theory, drawing from his interactions with Fermat and Pascal. His writings also delved into astronomy and optics. To honor his enduring legacy, several astronomical features bear his name, including the Huygens Martian Crater. Mons Huygens Lunar Mountain, and the Huygens Asteroid. Scientist number 66 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from Netherlands on our list is Antony van Leeuwenhoek. Antony van Leeuwenhoek, much like Michael Faraday, began his career with limited formal education, working as an artisan crafting lenses. Over time, his lens-making business evolved, leading him to become a pioneering research scientist. Initially crafting lenses primarily for telescopes and reading magnifiers, Van Leeuwenhoek eventually turned his attention to amateur scientific investigations. His rudimentary microscopes, estimated to have magnifying powers between 200x and 300x, enabled Van Leeuwenhoek to make groundbreaking observations of microorganisms, which he termed, animacules. These discoveries earned him the titles of the first microbiologist and the father of microbiology. Despite the simplicity of his instruments, they provided him with unprecedented access to the microbial world, allowing him to study a wide range of cells, from simple unicellular spermatozoa to complex multicellular organisms like mussels, fungi, and arthropods. Van Leeuwenhoek meticulously documented his findings, often sharing them in letters with the London Royal Society. Despite his lack of formal education, the significance of his work led the Royal Society to translate his writings from his native Dutch into Latin and English for publication. His discoveries brought him widespread fame, attracting the attention of esteemed figures such as Gottfried Leibniz, Tsar Peter the Great of Russia, and the co-monarchs of Britain, William III and Queen Mary II. In recognition of his contributions, Van Leeuwenhoek has been honored with numerous accolades, including the Leeuwenhoek Medal from the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences, the naming of the bacterial genus Leeuwenhoekiella, and the dedication of astronomical features such as the 2766 Leeuwenhoek asteroid and the 125-kilometer-wide Leeuwenhoek lunar crater. Scientist number 67 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from Netherlands on our list is Hendrik Antoon Lorentz. Hendrik Antoon Lorentz, one of the most prominent physicists of the late 19th and early 20th centuries, faced adversity early in life with the loss of his mother before the age of 10. Despite this hardship, Lorentz persevered, focusing on his studies and demonstrating excellence in both arts and sciences. His academic journey culminated in his appointment as a professor of theoretical physics at the young age of 24, marking the inaugural chair at Leiden University, his alma mater. In his professorial role, Lorentz wasted no time in establishing himself as a leading figure in the field. Buoyed by early encouragement from mentors such as Peter Reka, his doctoral supervisor, and Frederick Kaiser, his astronomy professor. Spanning disciplines from hydrodynamics to electrodynamics, and from general relativity to quantum mechanics, Lorentz's scholarly pursuits left no corner of mathematical physics unexplored. He collaborated extensively with colleagues and mentored a growing cohort of protégés, providing theoretical frameworks that shaped the work of generations of researchers. Lorentz's contributions to physics were profound and far-reaching. He played a pivotal role in the discovery of the Zeeman effect, for which he and his former student Peter Zeeman were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1902. Additionally, Lorentz made significant contributions to Einstein's theory of relativity, 
Hippolyte Fizeau's Fizeau experiment, and numerous other landmark studies. Renowned for his influence and leadership in the scientific community, Lorentz chaired the first Solvay Conference in 1911, a gathering of eminent physicists that proved pivotal in advancing the understanding of quantum theory and atomic structure. Later, he presided over the International Committee on Intellectual Cooperation, a precursor to UNESCO, from 1925 to 1928. In recognition of his monumental contributions to science, Lorentz's name has been immortalized in various honors and tributes, including the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences Lorentz Medal and the dedication of the 312-kilometer-wide Lorentz Lunar Crater. Scientist number 68 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From New Zealand, we have selected one exceptional scientist to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The only luminary on our list is Ernest Rutherford. Ernest Rutherford, renowned as an avid experimenter and brilliant theoretician, left an indelible mark on the fields of nuclear chemistry and atomic physics. Widely regarded as one of the greatest experimentalists in the Anglophone world, second only to Michael Faraday, Rutherford's scientific journey was shaped by mentors such as Alexander William Bickerton and Joseph John Thomson. Rutherford's groundbreaking experiments revolutionized our understanding of radioactivity and the structure of the atom. He was the first to conclusively demonstrate that radioactivity leads to the transmutation of elements, a pivotal discovery that laid the foundation for modern nuclear physics. Additionally, Rutherford introduced key concepts such as half-life to describe radioactive decay processes, and he coined terms like alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays to classify ionizing radiations. Among his most famous experiments are the gold foil experiments, conducted between 1908 and 1913, which led to the development of the Rutherford model of the atom. This model challenged the prevailing plum pudding model proposed by his mentor, Joseph John Thomson, by revealing the existence of a dense atomic nucleus surrounded by orbiting electrons. Although sometimes referred to as the Geiger-Marsden experiment after his collaborators, Hans Geiger and Ernest Marsden, it was under Rutherford's direction that these experiments were conducted and interpreted. Rutherford's influence extended beyond his own research, as he supervised and mentored a generation of future scientific luminaries. His students included Niels Bohr, Otto Hahn, John Cockcroft, and Ernest Walton, all of whom made significant contributions to 20th century science. In recognition of his monumental contributions, numerous honors and tributes bear Rutherford's name, including the 13-kilometer-wide Rutherford Lunar Crater and the synthetic element Rutherfordium. His legacy continues to inspire scientists worldwide, shaping our understanding of the fundamental building blocks of the universe. Scientist number 69 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Persia, we have selected two exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Abu Bakr Muhammad ibn Zakariya al-Razi. Abu Bakr al-Razi, known to medieval Europeans as Razes, stands as a towering polymath and one of the most revered scientists of the Islamic Golden Age. Before dedicating himself to research and education, he practiced as a general practitioner in Persia and Arabia. However, his diverse interests led him beyond healthcare to explore an array of sciences and arts. Al-Razi's thirst for knowledge and dedication to research knew no bounds. His extensive investigations, often conducted in isolation, resulted in a remarkable body of work comprising nearly 250 publications. Among these, works such as Al-Mansuri and Al-Judari wa Al-Hazba were later translated into Latin, contributing to the improvement of European universities' curricula. An adept both in theoretical analysis and experimental exploration, Al-Razi fearlessly ventured into uncharted territories, pioneering discoveries in fields ranging from medicine and surgery to pharmacy, chemistry, astronomy, mathematics, ethics, logic, philosophy, religion, and literature. His contributions to medicine were particularly profound, as he made groundbreaking advancements in understanding communicable diseases, pediatrics, obstetrics, gynecology, and ophthalmology. Al-Razi's clinical acumen led to several significant breakthroughs, including his pioneering descriptions of physiological processes such as the adaptation of the pupil to varying light intensities. Moreover, he was the first to outline the pathological pathways of diseases such as measles, chickenpox, and smallpox, laying the groundwork for their subsequent study and treatment. Additionally, 
he recognized the importance of dietetics in therapeutics, pioneering an integrated approach to patient care. Despite his remarkable achievements in medicine, Al-Razi's proficiency extended across various other fields, earning him recognition as the eponym of numerous items, from simple monuments to advanced research institutes. His legacy endures as a testament to the power of intellect, curiosity, and perseverance in advancing human knowledge and well-being. Scientist number 70 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from Persia on our list is Omar al-Khayyam. Omar al-Khayyam, influenced by the works of Avicenna and Alhazen ibn al-Haytham, rose to prominence early in life, establishing himself as one of the most remarkable scholars of the Middle Ages. His intellectual pursuits spanned philosophy, literature, astronomy, geometry, and algebra, leaving an indelible mark on each field. One of Al-Khayyam's most celebrated achievements was his groundbreaking work on algebra, particularly his solutions to cubic and exponential equations, which were documented in his influential treatise, The Treatise on Demonstration of Problems of Algebra. His innovative solutions to these mathematical problems, especially his geometric approach to solving cubic equations, earned him recognition as a pioneer in the field. In addition to his contributions to algebra, Al-Khayyam made significant advancements in geometry, particularly through his critiques of Euclid's definitions in his work titled, On the Difficulties of Euclid's Definitions. His revisions laid the groundwork for the development of non-Euclidean geometry, a concept that would later revolutionize the field of mathematics. Al-Khayyam's contributions to astronomy were equally profound. While working in the observatory sponsored by Sultan Malik Shah I, his team achieved fame for their accurate measurement of a year, determining it to have 365.2424 days. This calculation formed the basis of the contemporary Persian calendar, highlighting the enduring impact of his astronomical research. Furthermore, Al-Khayyam's insightful analyses of Archimedes' works and his elegant simplifications of the binomial theorem demonstrated his exceptional intellect and mathematical prowess. Although Al-Khayyam is perhaps best known today for his poetry, his scientific contributions remain highly regarded. Monuments such as the Omar Khayyam Lunar Crater and the Omar Khayyam Planetoid serve as enduring tributes to his memory, commemorating his legacy as a scholar whose intellect transcended disciplinary boundaries and left an indelible mark on the world of science and literature. Scientist number 71 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Poland, we have selected two exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Nicolaus Copernicus. Nicolaus Copernicus, a Catholic canon and physician of Polish origin, emerged as one of the most influential mathematicians of the Renaissance era. Drawing inspiration from the works of Alhazen ibn al-Haytham and Nasir al-Din al-Tusi, Copernicus revolutionized astronomy with his heliocentric model of the solar system. As the foremost European astronomer of his time, Copernicus boldly proposed the Sun as the center of the solar system, with all other planets orbiting around it, an idea that directly challenged the long-standing geocentric model advocated by Claudius Ptolemy. His seminal work, The Revolutions of the Celestial Spheres, published posthumously in 1543 and dedicated to Pope Paul III, remains a landmark in the history of science, ushering in a new era of understanding of celestial mechanics. Copernicus's heliocentric theory laid the foundation for subsequent astronomical advancements and inspired generations of scientists, including Tycho Brahe, Galileo Galilei, Johannes Kepler, and Isaac Newton. His intellect transcended disciplinary boundaries, with contributions extending to literature, commerce, jurisprudence, medicine, theology, philosophy, ethics, administration, and mathematics. Despite his reputation as a bold and daring scientist, Copernicus was also characterized by his exceptional brilliance and meticulousness. His profound analyses and conclusions reflected the agility of his mind, earning him comparisons to renowned thinkers such as Aristarchus of Samos and Johannes Kepler. To honor his legacy, numerous concepts and memorials have been dedicated to Copernicus, including the Copernicus lunar crater, the Copernicus Martian crater, and the Copernicus asteroid. These serve as enduring tributes to his intellect and enduring contributions to the advancement of human knowledge. Scientist number 72 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from Poland on our list is Marie Sklodowska Curie. Marie Sklodowska Curie, often overshadowed in historical narratives due to her gender in a male-dominated era, 
stands as one of the most remarkable and prolific scientists in history. Despite facing significant gender barriers at a time when women lacked basic rights such as voting in Europe and the USA, Curie's contributions to science surpassed many of her male counterparts. As the first female Nobel laureate, Curie holds the distinction of being the only person to win Nobel Prizes in two different branches of science, physics and chemistry. Her groundbreaking research on radioactivity led to the discovery of two new elements, polonium and radium, and laid the groundwork for the field of radioactive chemistry, which significantly advanced atomic physics and nuclear technologies. Following the tragic deaths of her husband, Pierre Curie, in 1906, and their mentor, Henri Becquerel, in 1908, Marie Curie continued their pioneering work and made substantial contributions to the practical applications of X-rays, originally discovered by Wilhelm Röntgen. Even during the First World War, Curie's dedication to science remained unwavering, as she volunteered to serve the French military as an X-ray radiographer, putting her research on hold to contribute to the war effort. Despite facing numerous challenges, from subtle parodies to entrenched gender discrimination, Curie's resourcefulness, resilience, and unparalleled dedication to science earned her widespread recognition and accolades. Her legacy extends far beyond her scientific achievements, serving as an inspiration to future generations of scientists, particularly women in STEM fields. Various items and tributes are dedicated to honoring Marie Sklodowska Curie's memory, reflecting her enduring impact and significance in the annals of science. Scientist number 73 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Russia, we have selected three exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Dmitry Mendeleev. Dmitry Mendeleev, hailed as one of the most influential scientists of the 19th century, revolutionized the field of chemistry with his groundbreaking work on the periodic table. In 1869, Mendeleev published his seminal work, which presented a comprehensive and systematic classification of the elements known at the time. His periodic table not only organized the elements based on their atomic weights but also revealed remarkable periodic trends and relationships among them. Mendeleev's genius lay in his ability to predict the properties of undiscovered elements and foresee gaps in the periodic table where these elements should exist. This predictive power proved invaluable in advancing our understanding of the fundamental nature of matter and guiding future scientific research. The impact of Mendeleev's periodic table extended far beyond the realm of chemistry, influencing developments in physics and other scientific disciplines. His work provided a framework for understanding the characteristics, behaviors, and properties of elements, compounds, and mixtures, laying the foundation for modern chemistry as we know it today. Collaborating with fellow scientists such as Lothar Meyer and Robert Bunsen, Mendeleev continued to refine and improve the periodic table, ensuring its accuracy and applicability in various scientific fields. In addition to his contributions to chemistry, Mendeleev made significant but often overlooked contributions to geology, meteorology, and hydrodynamics. Mendeleev's legacy extends beyond his scientific achievements. He played a pivotal role in introducing the metric system of measurements in the Russian Empire and was instrumental in establishing the Russian Chemical Society. His dedication to advancing scientific knowledge and promoting collaboration among scientists has left an indelible mark on the scientific community. To honor his contributions, the transuranic element Mendelevium and the Mendeleev lunar crater, spanning 313 kilometers in diameter, serve as enduring tributes to Dmitry Mendeleev's enduring legacy and profound impact on the world of science. Scientist number 74 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from Russia on our list is Andrei Kolmogorov. Andrei Kolmogorov stands as a towering figure in the fields of mathematics, physics, and computer science, renowned for his groundbreaking contributions across a spectrum of disciplines. Remarkably, Kolmogorov's journey into the world of academia began at the tender age of 19 when he demonstrated exceptional prowess in set theory and garnered acclaim for constructing a Fourier series that diverged almost everywhere. Seeking to expand his horizons, Kolmogorov ventured to Germany, where he engaged with luminaries such as Richard Current, Hermann Weyl, and Edmund Landau. These encounters proved instrumental in shaping his understanding of limit theorems, intuitionistic logic, and function theory, laying the groundwork for his future achievements. Kolmogorov's seminal treatise, about the analytical methods of probability theory, written in German rather than his native Russian, marked a significant milestone in the development of probability theory. 
This was followed by his magnum opus, The Foundations of the Theory of Probability, which solidified his reputation as a leading authority in the field. Beyond probability theory, Kolmogorov made substantial contributions to computational complexity, fluid dynamics, algorithmic information theory, and topology. His research on turbulence and stochastic processes proved invaluable during the Cold War era, aiding the Soviets in various endeavors. Notably, Kolmogorov independently developed the Chapman-Kolmogorov equations, crucial for modeling stochastic processes, and contributed to statistical mechanics with his discovery of the Fokker-Planck equation, later known as the Kolmogorov forward equation. Kolmogorov's pioneering work on Kolmogorov complexity has had far-reaching implications, particularly in establishing the boundaries of computability and proving fundamental impossibility results in mathematics and computer science. Throughout his illustrious career, Kolmogorov played a pivotal role in nurturing the talents of many scientists in the Soviet republics, leaving an indelible mark on the academic landscape. In recognition of his monumental contributions, numerous concepts, parameters, and theorems in mathematics, engineering, physics, and computing bear his name, a testament to his enduring legacy and profound impact on science and academia. Scientist number 75 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from Russia on our list is Sergei Pavlovich Korolyov. Sergei Korolyov emerged as a beacon of innovation and leadership for the Soviet Union during the formative years of the Cold War. Despite operating under significant constraints compared to their Western counterparts, Korolyov's ingenuity propelled the Soviet space program to unprecedented heights. One of his crowning achievements was the successful launch of the world's first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, in 1957. This landmark event not only showcased the Soviet Union's technological prowess but also marked the beginning of the space age. Prior to this, Korolyov had overseen the development of the world's first intercontinental ballistic missile, the R-7 Semyorka, in 1953, further cementing his reputation as a visionary engineer. Korolyov's contributions were so pivotal that his true identity remained a closely guarded secret throughout his life, underscoring the perceived threat of assassination by Western adversaries. His leadership culminated in the historic flight of Yuri Gagarin aboard the Vostok 1 spacecraft in 1961, making him the first human to journey into space. This achievement solidified Korolyov's status as the father of astronautics among both his Ukrainian and Russian compatriots. Throughout the Cold War, Korolyov's remarkable team continued to push the boundaries of space exploration, ensuring that the Soviet Union maintained a significant lead in the space race. While the United States had the formidable Werner von Braun, Korolyov's strategic vision and adept leadership played a crucial role in securing Soviet dominance in space exploration. Despite his untimely death in 1966, Korolyov's legacy lives on, immortalized by the 437-kilometer wide lunar crater that bears his name. His indomitable spirit, resourcefulness, and unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of human achievement continue to inspire generations of scientists and engineers around the world. Scientist number 76 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Serbia, we have selected one exceptional scientist to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The only luminary from Serbia on our list is Nikola Tesla, Nikola Tesla stands as a titan of engineering whose inventions have left an indelible mark on the global landscape, surpassing even the illustrious Assamberg Kingdom Brunel in their widespread impact. While Augustin Louis Cauchy delved exclusively into the realm of mathematics, Tesla's visionary prowess encompassed a vast array of disciplines, earning him accolades as one of history's greatest engineers. Drawing inspiration from the groundbreaking experiments of Faraday, Ampere, and Ersted, Tesla discerned the transformative potential of electricity, telephony, mechanics, and magnetism. With unmatched ingenuity, he translated these theoretical insights into practical applications, leaving his distinctive imprint on the technological landscape. Tesla's genius lay not only in his inventive spirit but also in his profound understanding of emerging mechatronic principles. His conceptual mastery was matched only by his practical acumen, enabling him to devise blueprints that would underpin modern technologies for generations to come. Despite his monumental contributions, Tesla remained a diligent and unassuming figure, inspiring awe and admiration in those who crossed his path. His remarkable intuition guided him through uncharted territory, paving the way for countless innovations that would shape the course of history. The profound impact of Tesla's work is perhaps most evident in the ubiquity of electric supply, 
a testament to his relentless pursuit of progress and innovation. While he may not have received due recognition in his lifetime, his enduring legacy was immortalized when his name was designated the SI unit of magnetic flux density during the General Conference of Weights and Measures in 1960, an overdue tribute to a pioneer whose selfless dedication transformed the world. Scientist number 77 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Spain, we have selected one exceptional scientist to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The only luminary from Spain on our list is Abu al-Qasim ibn al-Abbas al-Zarawi. Throughout the annals of medical history, few figures stand as prominently as Abu al-Qasim ibn al-Abbas al-Zarawi, known to medieval Europeans as Albacasis. Born during the Islamic Golden Age, al-Zarawi's contributions to the field of surgery have earned him the title of the father of modern surgery and established his legacy as one of the foremost practitioners of his time. At the heart of his enduring influence lies his monumental work, the 30-volume compendium titled Kitab al-Tashrif. This magnum opus stands as one of the most comprehensive and authoritative encyclopedias in the history of science, serving as the definitive surgical textbook for over five centuries. Al-Zarawi's innovations transcended the boundaries of his era, pioneering techniques, practices, and surgical implements that continue to shape modern medicine. From his precise descriptions of ectopic pregnancy and hereditary links to hemophilia to his development of surgical procedures such as cataract removals, caserine sections, and precise cannulae, his contributions revolutionized the practice of surgery. Beyond his surgical endeavors, Al-Zarawi's insatiable curiosity led him to explore various disciplines, including pharmacy, chemistry, and astronomy. His discoveries in pharmaceuticals yielded therapeutic and cosmetic substances that would have a lasting impact on medical practice. As the esteemed court physician to Abd al-Rahman III, the Emir of Cordoba and the greatest caliph of the Umayyad Arab Muslim dynasty of Spain, al-Zarawi had access to vast repositories of knowledge. His influence extended beyond his medical expertise, inspiring a generation of scholars and practitioners who would carry on his legacy. Scientist number 78 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Sweden, we have selected one exceptional scientist to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The only luminary from Sweden on our list is Carl Linnaeus. The narrative surrounding evolution theory often eclipses the contributions of figures like Carl Linnaeus and Gregor Mendel, whose work in taxonomy and genetics provides a solid foundation for understanding biodiversity and ancestry. Carl Linnaeus, in particular, stands as a titan in the field of taxonomy. In the 1730s, he revolutionized the classification of living organisms by introducing a scientifically based system of binomial nomenclature. Building upon the work of Swiss brothers Gaspard and Johann Bauhin, Linnaeus published his seminal work, Systema Natura, in 1735. This groundbreaking publication laid out a systematic framework for organizing and naming living organisms, setting the stage for modern biology. Linnaeus's contributions extended beyond mere classification. His influential works, including Philosophia Botanica and Species Plantarum, further refined his taxonomic system and classified a vast array of plant species. These publications not only provided a comprehensive catalog of Swedish flora but also established Linnaeus as a central figure in the development of modern biological science. The enduring legacy of Linnaeus lies not only in the names he assigned to organisms but also in his delineation of the characteristic features shared by group members. His taxonomic methodologies continue to serve as the cornerstone of modern classification systems, guiding biologists in their study of the natural world from the kingdom level down to individual species. In the realm of genetics, Gregor Mendel's work on inheritance laid the groundwork for understanding the mechanisms underlying evolutionary change. Through meticulous experiments with pea plants, Mendel elucidated the principles of heredity and established the laws of segregation and independent assortment. These fundamental insights provided a theoretical framework for understanding how traits are passed from one generation to the next, forming the basis of modern genetics. Scientist number 79 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Switzerland, we have selected three exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary from Switzerland on our list is Daniel Bernoulli. Daniel Bernoulli, a member of the renowned Bernoulli family, played a pivotal role in shaping the landscape of mathematics and physics during the 17th and 18th centuries. 
Alongside illustrious relatives such as his uncle Jakob, father Johann, and brother Nikolaus, Daniel stands as one of the most prominent geniuses of this Swiss mathematical dynasty. He forged a close friendship with Leonard Euler, widely considered one of the greatest mathematicians of all time. Despite his natural aptitude for mathematics, Daniel initially pursued studies in biology at his father's insistence. However, once he gained independence, he wholeheartedly embraced mathematics, the discipline for which the Bernoulli family was renowned. After earning his PhD in anatomy and botany, Daniel shifted his focus to mathematics, where he made significant contributions that would shape various fields. One of Daniel's pioneering achievements was in statistics, but he soon turned his attention to mathematical physics, particularly fluid dynamics. In his seminal work, Hydrodynamica, published in 1738, Daniel introduced the Bernoulli principle, along with his eponymous equation, which revolutionized our understanding of fluid flow. His meticulous and refined approach to research earned him the Grand Prix of the Paris Science Academy an impressive ten times between 1725 and 1749, covering diverse topics such as oceanography, magnetism, waves, optics, and astronomy. Daniel's contributions extended beyond fluid dynamics to encompass thermodynamics, kinetic theory, resonance, and wave propagation. As an early proponent of mathematical physics, he explored various areas of applied mathematics, making far-reaching contributions. His monograph, Exercitationes Caedum Mathematicae, exemplifies his use of differential equations to tackle complex problems in fluid mechanics, laying the groundwork for future developments in the field. Scientist number 80 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from Switzerland on our list is Leonard Euler. Leonard Euler stands as an unparalleled figure in the realm of mathematics, with a legacy marked by nearly 1,000 first-class publications, a testament to his prolific intellect and enduring influence. Hailing from Switzerland, Euler's remarkable brainpower allowed him to effortlessly tackle mathematical challenges, earning him the epithet, analysis incarnate, and recognition as the preeminent algorist of his time. Euler's mastery extended across all branches of mathematics, where he not only excelled but also forged connections between disparate fields, standardized notation, proved countless theorems, and introduced innovative methodologies. Throughout his 76-year lifetime, Euler's contributions dominated mathematical literature, with approximately one-third of all mathematical publications bearing his name, an astonishing feat that earned him widespread acclaim. Renowned mathematicians such as Pierre-Simon Laplace hailed Euler as the master of all mathematicians, while Carl Friedrich Gauss revered his works as an irreplaceable best school for maths. André Weil echoed these sentiments, emphasizing Euler's indisputable leadership across diverse mathematical disciplines. Despite facing challenges such as blindness later in life, Euler's intellect remained undiminished. During his tenure at Russia's Science Academy, colleagues marveled at his ability to mentally conceive complex mathematical treatises, dictating them to his secretary for publication, a feat that astounded all who witnessed it. Euler's contributions to mathematics transcend mere quantity, encompassing an unparalleled depth and beauty evident in his groundbreaking theorems. His imprint is indelibly stamped on some of the greatest mathematical discoveries, establishing him as the unequivocal champion among mathematicians, surpassing even the likes of Gauss and Newton. Scientist number 81 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from Switzerland on our list is Johann Heinrich Lambert. Johann Lambert, despite humble beginnings, emerged as a brilliant polymath whose intellectual prowess spanned mathematics, physics, logic, cartography, and philosophy. Forced to forego formal schooling to support his family, Lambert pursued education through private study while working full-time, laying the groundwork for his future achievements. A versatile genius, Lambert's contributions to various fields were both profound and diverse. In 1755, he invented a hygrometer that surpassed Leonardo da Vinci's earlier prototype. Later, in 1761, Lambert provided the first proof that pi is an irrational number, showcasing his mastery of continued fractions. Alongside Vincenzo Riccati, he also pioneered hyperbolic functions, further solidifying his status as a mathematical innovator. Lambert's expertise extended to cartography, where he became the first mathematician to explore map projections of a spherical Earth. His insights inspired Carl Gauss's Theorema Egregium, and led to the publication of his influential dissertation in 1772, 
titled Anmerkungen und Zusatz der Entwurfung der Land und Himmelscharten. In addition to his scientific pursuits, Lambert seamlessly integrated philosophy into his work, earning admiration from notable figures like Immanuel Kant, with whom he maintained lifelong correspondence. Lambert's forward-thinking ideas included early advocacy for the concept of super-galaxies. Lambert's profound impact on physics and mathematics is commemorated through various eponymous honors, including the Lambert series, Lambert Quadrilateral, Lambertian Reflectance, Lambert's Cosine Law, and astronomical features such as the Lambert Crater on Mars and the Lambert Lunar Crater. Scientist number 82 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Turkey, we have selected one exceptional scientist to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The only luminary from Turkey on our list is Claudius Galen of Pergamon. Claudius Galen, esteemed as the preeminent physician of ancient Europe, revolutionized medical thought and practice with his comprehensive theories and groundbreaking contributions. Focusing primarily on anatomy, physiology, pathology, and pharmacology, Galen's works not only surpassed those of his predecessors, including Hippocrates, but also shaped European medical education and practice for over a millennium. Galen's meticulous anatomical studies, albeit conducted primarily on primates and swine due to societal restrictions on human dissections, remained influential for more than a millennium until Andreas Vesalius introduced human specimens. Despite Vesalius' advancements, Galen's works were deemed indispensable, prompting their translation from Greek to Latin to ensure their preservation and dissemination. In addition to anatomy, Galen delved into various scientific disciplines, reflecting the interdisciplinary nature of his pursuits during the era's natural philosophy. His clinical expertise and accomplishments solidified his reputation as Europe's foremost clinician, with purportedly over 500 treatises across diverse fields, although fewer than half of them survived. Galen's philosophical insights, drawing upon the foundational teachings of Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, further elevated his stature, earning accolades from luminaries such as Emperor Marcus Aurelius of Rome, sage Athenaeus of Nocratus, and sage Alexander of Aphrodisias, who regarded him not only as the premier physician but also as the most outstanding philosopher of his era. The enduring influence of Galen's concepts and practices, exemplified by the Galenic formulation among other enduring contributions, underscores his legacy as a titan of ancient European scholarship and a foundational figure in the history of medicine. Scientist number 83 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From the United Kingdom, we have selected 13 exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary from the United Kingdom on our list is Robert Hooke. Robert Hooke, a polymath of the 17th century, left an indelible mark on various scientific disciplines, earning recognition as one of the era's foremost scholars and experimentalists. Before his notable collaboration with Robert Boyle in conducting groundbreaking gas law experiments, Hooke served as an assistant to Thomas Willis, gaining valuable experience that would shape his future endeavors. His meticulous attention to detail and aptitude for scientific inquiry propelled him to prominence in multiple fields. Hooke's investigations into the properties of materials led to the formulation of his law of elasticity, a foundational principle in metallurgy and engineering that continues to inform modern practices. His scholarly achievements culminated in his appointment as the ninth Gresham Professor of Geometry in London where he imparted knowledge and inspired future generations of scientists. In 1665, Hooke made a seminal contribution to the field of biology by observing and documenting cells, earning him recognition as an early pioneer in cytology. His work predates the formalization of the cell theory by Matthias Schleiden and Theodor Schwann by nearly two centuries, underscoring his foresight and insight into the microscopic world. As a pioneer in microscopy, Hooke produced Micrographia, a groundbreaking publication that showcased his discoveries and insights. Through detailed illustrations and meticulous observations, Micrographia revealed the intricate structures of plants and animals as seen through the microscope, igniting interest in the burgeoning field of microscopy. Hooke's versatility extended beyond biology to encompass optics, astronomy, entomology, and paleontology, reflecting his diverse intellectual pursuits. His exploration of wave theory of light preceded Christian Huygens's work, highlighting his contributions to the advancement of optical science. In recognition of his profound scientific contributions, Hooke has been commemorated with various astronomical features named in his honor, including the Hooke Martian Crater, the Hooke Lunar Crater, and the Hooke Asteroid.
Scientist number 84 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary on our list is Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton stands as the preeminent figure in the annals of scientific history, revered for his unparalleled contributions that reshaped our understanding of the natural world. His intellectual brilliance traversed a multitude of disciplines within applied mathematics, leaving an indelible mark on mechanics, astronomy, calculus, optics, and more. Newton's groundbreaking insights into mathematical physics represented a seismic shift in scientific thought, surpassing even his own earlier achievements in calculus. His profound intellect was matched only by his tireless work ethic, evidenced by his extensive writings on mathematics, science, and religion. Elevated to the prestigious Lucasian Professorship of Mathematics at Cambridge University at the age of 26, Newton embarked on a journey to provide science with the firm foundation it enjoys today. His seminal work, Principia Mathematica, stands as a cornerstone of scientific literature, revered as the pinnacle of human achievement in the realm of mathematical physics. Newton's influence extended far beyond his own era, laying the groundwork for subsequent scientific revolutions and technological advancements. His equivalence principle, for instance, foreshadowed Albert Einstein's revolutionary theory of relativity, albeit through a different mathematical lens. While Einstein's approach to relativity necessitated subsequent geometric refinements, Newton's mathematical frameworks remained steadfast, a testament to his unparalleled versatility and comprehensive understanding of the mathematical underpinnings of his theories and laws. In the pantheon of scientific luminaries, Isaac Newton's legacy remains unrivaled, his towering intellect and profound contributions serving as a guiding light for generations of scientists and scholars. Comparisons with later figures, such as Einstein, pale in comparison to the enduring impact of Newton's foundational work on the trajectory of human knowledge and progress. Scientist number 85 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from the United Kingdom on our list is James Watt. James Watt, renowned for his numerous patents and inventive genius, stood among the foremost inventors of his era. Despite leaving his instrument-making apprenticeship before completing the recommended seven-year period, Watt acquired sufficient knowledge to invent a crucial modifier that allowed telescopes to measure distances, an innovation that underscored his early ingenuity. Watt's most enduring legacy lies in his pivotal role in revolutionizing the Industrial Revolution through his groundbreaking improvements to steam engine technology. A purposeful and pragmatic innovator, Watt focused on practical applications of scientific principles, channeling his efforts into various pursuits. While his ventures into chemistry aimed at developing efficient bleaching agents, they yielded mixed results, with success achieved on a smaller scale but falling short of industrial viability. However, it was Watt's transformative advancements in steam engine design that secured his place in history. Recognizing the inefficiencies of Thomas Newcomen's engines, Watt engineered a revolutionary machine featuring a separate condenser, a design innovation that significantly improved efficiency by eliminating the need for cycles of cooling and reheating in the cylinders. Moreover, Watt's incorporation of rotary motion into his engines further enhanced their versatility, profoundly impacting both industrial processes and transportation systems. Watt's contributions extended beyond engineering innovations. He also played a pivotal role in establishing the imperial unit of power measurement, known as horsepower. This unit, devised by Watt, facilitated comparative assessments of various steam engines' outputs long before the advent of turbines, pistons, and electric motors. Throughout his illustrious career, Watt received numerous honors and accolades, attesting to the profound impact of his inventions. Among these tributes was the designation of his surname, Watt, as the official SI unit for power, a fitting tribute to a pioneering figure whose innovations reshaped industries and propelled humanity into the modern age. Scientist number 86 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fourth luminary from the United Kingdom on our list is Edward Jenner. Edward Jenner's pioneering work in the field of immunology stands as a monumental achievement in the history of medicine, earning him the epithet of the father of immunology and immortalizing his legacy as a visionary healer. Amidst the backdrop of rampant smallpox outbreaks that ravaged global communities for centuries, Jenner's groundbreaking experiments offered a glimmer of hope in the fight against this devastating disease. While it's true that ancient African, Chinese, and Indian physicians had developed rudimentary immunological techniques prior to Jenner's time, his independent elucidation and refinement of these concepts played a pivotal role in advancing the understanding of immunization. Jenner's ingenious experiments, though crude by modern standards, 
yielded remarkable results, significantly reducing mortality rates from smallpox and earning him widespread acclaim and adulation. Recognizing the importance of his life-saving discoveries, the British Parliament provided substantial financial support for his research endeavors, underscoring the significance of his contributions to public health. In 1821, King George IV appointed Jenner as his personal physician extraordinaire, a testament to the esteem in which he was held by the highest echelons of society. Throughout his career, Jenner collaborated with esteemed colleagues such as John Hunter and William Osler on a range of medical inquiries, from hygiene to natural history, further expanding the frontiers of scientific knowledge. Beyond his medical achievements, Jenner's keen observations in ornithology, particularly his studies of cuckoos and brood parasitism, shed light on the intricate dynamics of avian behavior and ecology. Like his contemporary James Clerk Maxwell, Jenner was also a devout biblical scholar, drawing inspiration from scripture in his pursuits of knowledge and understanding. Today, Jenner's legacy endures as a symbol of humanity's triumph over infectious disease, commemorated by the naming of the Jenner Lunar Crater, a fitting tribute to a visionary healer whose contributions continue to resonate across generations. Scientist number 87 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fifth luminary from the United Kingdom on our list is John Dalton. John Dalton, renowned for his groundbreaking atomic theory, played a pivotal role in shaping the field of chemistry and laying the foundation for modern particle physics and nuclear chemistry. Despite starting his career as a meteorologist, Dalton's contributions to the study of matter and its components propelled him to prominence as one of the most influential chemists of the 19th century. Initially, Dalton honed his skills in meteorology while assisting Elihu Robinson in weather forecasting and instrument manufacturing. Although his treatise on meteorology, titled, Meteorological Observations and Essays, received limited circulation, Dalton remained dedicated to his studies, meticulously recording weather observations for nearly six decades. During his tenure as a mathematics tutor at New College in Manchester, Dalton conducted research on deuteranopia, a form of colorblindness that affected him and his older brother, Jonathan. His pioneering work on this genetic defect, documented in his treatise, Extraordinary Facts Relating to the Vision of Colors, with observation, earned him recognition, and the term, Daltonism, is now commonly used to describe this type of color blindness. Driven by his fascination with the properties and behavior of gases, Dalton conducted experiments on gases under various temperatures and pressures. These experiments led to his formulation of Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures, which describes the behavior of gas mixtures. Additionally, Dalton's investigations into chemical proportions culminated in the formulation of the Law of Multiple Proportions, further solidifying his contributions to the field of chemistry. Dalton's most significant contribution came in the form of his atomic theory, which proposed that chemical reactions involve the combination of discrete, indivisible particles known as atoms. While Dalton's atomic theory underwent subsequent modifications, its fundamental insights remained influential in shaping our understanding of atomic structure and chemical bonding. In recognition of his profound contributions to science, the Dalton Lunar Crater, measuring 60 kilometers in diameter and located adjacent to the Einstein Crater, was named in his honor. Scientist number 88 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The sixth luminary from the United Kingdom on our list is Humphrey Davy. Humphrey Davy, renowned for his prolific experimentation and mentorship of the legendary Michael Faraday, stands as one of the most influential scientists of the 19th century. Despite being born into poverty, Davy overcame numerous obstacles to become a leading figure in scientific research, ultimately shaping the careers of future luminaries such as William Thompson Kelvin. Davy's fascination with chemistry began during his apprenticeship to a surgeon who also operated a pharmacy in 1795. It was during this time that he first encountered Alessandro Volta's voltaic piles, or electric batteries, which he would later utilize in a series of groundbreaking electrochemical experiments. These experiments led to the isolation of various elements, including alkali metals such as potassium and sodium, alkaline earth metals like calcium, barium, magnesium, and strontium, as well as halogens such as chlorine and iodine, along with aluminum and boron. One of Davy's well-documented experiments involved nitrous oxide, N2O, and he authored the first treatise detailing the application of chemistry to agriculture. In 1802, he publicly demonstrated the production of incandescent light by connecting a platinum filament to a high-capacity battery. This demonstration, along with earlier experiments by Ebenezer Kinnersley, 
laid the groundwork for the development of electric bulbs by Joseph Swan and Thomas Edison. Davy's contributions to safety in coal mining are also noteworthy, as he invented the safety lamp, which significantly reduced the risk of explosions in British coal mines. Beyond his scientific endeavors, Davy was a polymath who appreciated literature, composing numerous poems, and indulging in drawing and painting. In recognition of his significant scientific achievements, various honors bear Davy's name, including the Davy Medal awarded by the London Royal Society and the Davy Lunar Crater, which spans 34 kilometers in diameter. Scientist number 89 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The seventh luminary from the United Kingdom on our list is Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday's extraordinary journey stands as a testament to the boundless potential of human intellect and curiosity, transcending the constraints of formal education to become one of the most revered figures in the history of science. Born into poverty and denied a formal education due to financial hardship, Faraday's insatiable thirst for knowledge led him on a remarkable path of self-study and discovery. Despite his humble beginnings, he emerged as a towering figure in scientific exploration, ultimately ascending to the pinnacle of experimental research. Faraday's tenure as a laboratory assistant to Humphrey Davy proved to be a pivotal moment in his career, providing him with the opportunity to showcase his innate talents and insatiable curiosity. His innate brilliance and relentless work ethic propelled him to become one of the preeminent experimenters of his time, captivating the English scientific community with his groundbreaking discoveries. Over the course of more than five decades, Faraday conducted thousands of experiments spanning the realms of chemistry, electricity, and magnetism. His seminal contributions revolutionized our understanding of these fields, laying the groundwork for countless advancements in science and technology. Despite his lack of formal credentials, Faraday's genius earned him widespread acclaim and prestigious appointments, including the esteemed Fullerian Professorship of Chemistry at the Royal Institution in London. Even as he assumed additional responsibilities, Faraday's passion for inquiry remained undiminished, driving him to continue his groundbreaking research. Faraday's influence extended far beyond his own era, inspiring subsequent generations of scientists and innovators. Visionaries such as Nikola Tesla, Albert Einstein, Ernest Rutherford, and James Clerk Maxwell drew inspiration from his pioneering work, recognizing Faraday as a guiding light in the pursuit of knowledge and discovery. For Einstein and Rutherford, in particular, Faraday's legacy loomed large, serving as a constant source of inspiration and admiration throughout their lives. Einstein, in particular, kept a portrait of Faraday alongside other scientific luminaries as a symbol of the enduring impact of his contributions to human understanding. Scientist number 90 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The eighth luminary from the United Kingdom on our list is a Sambird Kingdom Brunel. A Sambird Kingdom Brunel stands as a towering figure in the annals of engineering history. His legacy indelibly woven into the fabric of Britain's industrial prowess and global influence during the 18th to 20th centuries. Amidst the backdrop of Britain's imperial expansion and the unprecedented access to global markets it afforded, Brunel emerged as a visionary architect of the Industrial Revolution. His keen intellect, audacious spirit, and unwavering determination propelled him to the forefront of engineering innovation where he left an indelible mark on the landscape of British industry. Trained under the tutelage of his father, Brunel honed his craft from an early age, laying the foundation for a career marked by extraordinary achievements and groundbreaking inventions. With meticulous precision and boundless creativity, he tackled a diverse array of projects, from bridges and railways to docks and shipbuilding, each one a testament to his ingenuity and daring. Brunel's relentless pursuit of excellence knew no bounds, as he fearlessly embraced challenges that others deemed insurmountable. His visionary designs and pioneering techniques pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible, earning him widespread acclaim and admiration throughout Britain and beyond. In just a decade, Brunel spearheaded a revolution in civil and mechanical engineering, revolutionizing industries and reshaping the nation's infrastructure in ways that endure to this day. His innovations, including the development of the first double-iron-hulled ship, set new standards of excellence and established Britain as a global leader in technology and engineering prowess. Although some of Brunel's ventures faced economic challenges and setbacks, his enduring legacy remains a source of national pride and inspiration. Revered as the greatest engineer of the Industrial Revolution era, his name has become synonymous with ingenuity and innovation, serving as a beacon of excellence for generations of engineers to come. In England, Brunel is celebrated as a national hero, 
his memory enshrined in countless monuments and landmarks that dot the British landscape. Scientist number 91 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The ninth luminary from the United Kingdom on our list is James Joseph Sylvester. James Joseph Sylvester, a tireless advocate for women's higher education, was a brilliant mathematician who triumphed over countless obstacles throughout his life. Despite facing discrimination due to his Jewish heritage, Sylvester's passion for mathematics drove him to pursue academic excellence from a young age. At the age of 14, Sylvester matriculated in London before continuing his studies at Cambridge University. Despite achieving the prestigious distinction of second wrangler in Cambridge's Tripos exam, he was denied his degree solely because of his Jewish background. This discriminatory treatment extended to his professional life, as he was refused a professorship at Columbia University in New York for the same reason. Undeterred by institutional prejudice, Sylvester pursued a career in the legal profession while continuing to pursue his love for mathematics. He formed a close friendship with Arthur Cayley, with whom he shared a deep passion for algebra. Together, they developed the invariant theory, making significant contributions to fields such as matrix theory, partition theory, number theory, combinatorics, mechanics, and even literature. Sylvester's groundbreaking work attracted attention from prestigious institutions, leading to appointments at both Johns Hopkins University in the United States and Oxford University in the United Kingdom. During his tenure at Johns Hopkins, he founded the American Journal of Mathematics, further solidifying his reputation as a leading figure in the mathematical community. In addition to his numerous contributions to mathematical theory, Sylvester was renowned for his ability to coin terms that have become fundamental in the field, including, graph, matrix, invariant, covariant, and discriminant. His impact on mathematics is commemorated through various honors, including the Sylvester Sequence, the Royal Society's Sylvester Medal, the Sylvester Lunar Crater, the Sylvester Asteroid, and the Sylvester Library, a vector, matrix, and geometry library for JavaScript. Scientist number 92 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The tenth luminary from the United Kingdom on our list is James Joule. James Joule, renowned for his groundbreaking work in thermodynamics and energy, revolutionized our understanding of the relationship between heat and mechanical work. Through his experiences in brewing and his relentless pursuit of understanding thermal energy, Joule made significant discoveries that ultimately led to the establishment of the Joule as the unit of energy in the International System of Units (SI). Joule's most notable achievement was demonstrating the fundamental principle of energy conservation, which laid the groundwork for the first law of thermodynamics. By establishing the link between heat and mechanical work, Joule refuted the prevailing caloric theory, which posited heat as an aggregate of self-repellent fluids. His experiments and observations paved the way for a new understanding of energy transfer and transformation. Trained under some of Britain's leading thermal researchers, including John Dalton, William Henry, Eaton Hodgkinson, and Peter Ewart, Joule gained valuable insights into the nature of heat and energy. Drawing upon the principles of Dalton's law of partial pressures and Henry's law constant, he sought to elucidate the relationship between heat energy and the kinetic theory of gases. Joule's collaboration with William Thomson Kelvin, particularly in developing Kelvin's absolute temperature scale, further expanded our understanding of thermodynamics. His experiments with electricity, conducted in 1841, led to the discovery of the relationship between electrical resistance, current, and heat generation, now known as the Joule-Lenz law in honor of Joule and Heinrich Lenz, who independently discovered it in 1842. In addition to his contributions to thermodynamics and electricity, Joule also made significant discoveries in the field of magnetostriction, uncovering the phenomenon whereby ferromagnetic materials change their dimensions when exposed to magnetic fields. In recognition of his profound impact on science, the 96-kilometer-wide Joule lunar crater stands as a testament to his enduring legacy. Scientist number 93 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 11th luminary from the United Kingdom on our list is William Thomson Kelvin. William Thomson Kelvin, a luminary in the realm of mathematical physics, held the prestigious position of professor at the University of Glasgow for over half a century. His scholarly pursuits spanned a wide array of disciplines, including heat, thermodynamics, electricity, magnetism, and geology, leaving an indelible mark on each field he touched. Kelvin's enduring legacy is perhaps most prominently embodied in the absolute temperature scale, which bears his name as its SI unit. 
While the concept of absolute zero temperature had been acknowledged prior to Kelvin, it was his meticulous research that ultimately ascertained its precise value of 273.15 degrees Celsius, a milestone achievement that reshaped our understanding of thermal dynamics. Throughout his illustrious career, Kelvin collaborated closely with numerous contemporaries, earning acclaim for his instrumental contributions to the formulation of both the first and second laws of thermodynamics. His work not only refined the insights of Nicolas Carnot but also integrated the groundbreaking discoveries of Rudolf Clausius, Benoit Clapeyron, and James Joule, further enriching our comprehension of fundamental thermodynamic principles. Kelvin's innovative investigations extended to the realm of electromagnetism, where he postulated the existence of vortex atoms, elastic solid structures responsible for generating electromagnetic fields through linear and rotational strains. Additionally, his analyses of Earth's cooling rate led him to challenge prevailing scientific theories, suggesting that the planet's age contradicted established notions of evolutionary biology and geological transformation. Among Kelvin's myriad contributions are groundbreaking advancements in magnetoresistance, the invention of the siphon recorder and mirror galvanometer, and his pivotal role in the development of transatlantic telegraphy. He was also an early adopter of terms such as chirality and kinetic energy, employing them in contexts that resonate with contemporary understanding. Kelvin's intellectual prowess is immortalized through numerous theorems and concepts that bear his name, including the Kelvin circulation theorem, Kelvin's equation, and Kelvin's wave. In the realm of astrophysics, his legacy endures with the lunar features Roop's Kelvin and Promontorium Kelvin, testament to his enduring influence on the scientific community and the cosmos alike. Scientist number 94 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 12th luminary from the United Kingdom on our list is James Clerk Maxwell. Long before Maxwell assumed the prestigious position of the first Cavendish professor of physics at Cambridge, his remarkable intellect had already caught the attention of another esteemed scientist, William Thomson Kelvin. Maxwell's prodigious imagination and intellectual prowess were evident throughout his illustrious career, which spanned diverse scientific disciplines. Maxwell's contributions were vast and multifaceted. He delved into the kinetic theory of gases and made significant advancements in the understanding of color photography, showcasing the breadth of his interests and expertise. Additionally, Maxwell was known for his deep engagement with biblical scholarship, often quoting verses, a testament to his wide-ranging curiosity and intellectual pursuits. Among Maxwell's many achievements, his theory of electromagnetic radiation stands out as a crowning jewel. With this groundbreaking theory, Maxwell successfully unified magnetic, optical, and electrical phenomena into a cohesive and elegant equation, laying the foundation for modern physics. His electromagnetic formulation remains one of the most important unifications of physical laws since the time of Isaac Newton, serving as a cornerstone for numerous technological advancements. Maxwell's research findings continued to reverberate through the scientific community for decades, ultimately contributing to the development of special relativity. His brilliance earned him the admiration of esteemed figures like Albert Einstein, who regarded him highly alongside luminaries such as Isaac Newton and Michael Faraday. Maxwell's legacy endures as one of the greatest researchers in scientific history, despite his relatively short life, he passed away at the age of 48 from abdominal cancer, the same illness that had claimed his mother four decades earlier. In addition to his indispensable electromagnetic equation, Maxwell is also credited with being the first to analyze control theory and to theorize the existence of various electromagnetic radiations traveling at the speed of light. To honor his monumental contributions, several astronomical features bear his name, including the Maxwell ringlet and Maxwell gap in the rings of Saturn, as well as the Maxwell Montez on Venus, serving as enduring reminders of his enduring legacy in the annals of science. Scientist number 95 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The 13 luminary from the United Kingdom on our list is Alexander Fleming. Alexander Fleming's pivotal role in the annals of medicine was catalyzed by a stroke of serendipity that forever altered the course of medical history. In a moment of chance discovery on September 3, 1928, Fleming's return to his laboratory after a summer hiatus unveiled a transformative revelation. Surveying his culture media, Fleming encountered an unexpected phenomenon, contamination by fungi that had inadvertently eradicated surrounding bacteria. Recognizing the potential significance of this observation, Fleming hypothesized that the fungi were producing an antibacterial substance. With meticulous curiosity, he isolated and cultivated the fungi on a new medium, 
yielding astonishing results. The species was identified as Penicillium nodatum, and its active compound, aptly named penicillin, exhibited broad-spectrum antibacterial properties against a multitude of pathogens. This fortuitous discovery heralded a new era in medicine, sparking a wave of intensive research that culminated in the development of various antibiotics. These breakthroughs revolutionized medical practice, ushering in an era of unprecedented efficacy in combating infectious diseases. From tuberculosis and pneumonia to the bubonic plague, ailments that once wrought havoc and claimed countless lives were subdued by the curative powers of antibiotics. The impact of antibiotics transcended human health, extending to the well-being of animals and livestock. From thwarting infections to mitigating post-surgical complications, antibiotics emerged as indispensable tools in the medical arsenal, elevating life expectancies and averting untold suffering. Fleming's momentous discovery garnered widespread recognition, earning him the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1945, which he shared with Ernst Boris Chain and Howard Walter Florey. Furthermore, the enduring legacy of his contribution is immortalized in the dedication of the 91006 Fleming asteroid, a testament to his enduring influence on the trajectory of medical science and the betterment of humanity. Scientist number 96 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From the USA, we have selected five exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary from the USA on our list is George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver, a beacon of vision and resilience, emerged as one of history's most celebrated botanists despite facing formidable obstacles throughout his life. His groundbreaking agricultural research and innovations revolutionized American agriculture and earned him international acclaim. With over five decades devoted to agronomical exploration, including nearly five decades of professorship, Carver's contributions span diverse fields such as plant breeding, crop rotation, chemergy, permaculture, and alternative cropping methods. His transformative work garnered widespread recognition, exemplified by Time magazine's unprecedented tribute to him in a 1941 editorial, a rare honor for an African American at the time. Carver's pioneering research on legumes, fruits, and vegetables not only diversified agricultural practices but also offered viable alternatives to cotton cultivation. Through his tireless efforts, he not only improved farming techniques but also disseminated vital information to farmers through comprehensive bulletins on food and cash crops. Beyond his scientific achievements, Carver emerged as a leading advocate for environmental protection and ecological conservation, pioneering efforts in these critical areas. His expertise led to consultancies with numerous institutions and companies, including advising Sweden's Crown Prince Olaf Gustav Adolf on botany and counseling three U.S. presidents, Theodore Roosevelt, Calvin Coolidge, and Franklin Roosevelt. Despite enduring the hardships of his early life in slavery and confronting systemic racism throughout his career, Carver's remarkable achievements earned him numerous honors and accolades. His legacy is immortalized on the 1948 three-cent postage stamp and the half-dollar coin minted between 1951 and 1954, both featuring his portrait. Additionally, the Second World War Liberty ship SS George Washington Carver stands as a testament to his enduring impact. Astronomical features, including the 59-kilometer-wide Carver lunar crater and the 7042 Carver asteroid, also bear his name further commemorating his legacy as a pioneer in agricultural science and environmental advocacy. Scientist number 97 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from the USA on our list is John Bardeen. John Bardeen's illustrious career is marked by groundbreaking contributions to physics and electronics, earning him the distinction of being the first and only individual to receive two Nobel Prizes in physics. However, his enduring legacy stems not only from his accolades but also from his profound intellect, innovative research, and far-reaching influence on the development of electronics. In 1947, Bardeen, along with Walter Bertain and William Shockley, collaborated to invent the transistor, a seminal achievement that revolutionized the field of electronics. Despite initial collaboration, Bardeen's relationship with Shockley soured due to the latter's contentious demeanor. Nonetheless, the trio was jointly awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1956 for their pioneering work on the transistor. Following his groundbreaking work on transistors, Bardeen shifted his focus to the study of superconductivity. Teaming up with Leon Cooper and John Schrieffer, he formulated the Bardeen-Cooper-Schrieffer theory in 1957, 
providing the first microscopic explanation of superconductivity. This seminal theory earned Bardeen his second Nobel Prize in Physics in 1972, solidifying his status as a luminary in the field. The impact of Bardeen's work extended far beyond theoretical physics. The BCS theory laid the foundation for advancements in technologies such as nuclear magnetic resonance (NMR) and magnetic resonance imaging (MRI), which have revolutionized medical diagnostics and research. Bardeen's influence transcended academic circles, shaping the careers of future generations of physicists and engineers. Notably, his former student Nick Holoniak Jr., credited with the discovery of the first visible wavelength gauze laser diode, exemplifies Bardeen's enduring legacy in applied physics. Recognizing Bardeen's monumental contributions, the Sony Group Corporation established a $3 million endowed professorship in his name at the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, in 1990. Moreover, in 2008, the United States honored Bardeen with commemorative stamps, plaques, and monuments, underscoring his enduring impact on science and society. Scientist number 98 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from the USA on our list is Vivian Theodore Thomas. Vivian Theodore Thomas stands as a testament to the power of innate talent and determination, reminiscent of historical figures like Michael Faraday, Sereni Vasa Ramanujan, and Antony van Leeuwenhoek, who achieved greatness without formal tertiary education. Despite facing familial poverty exacerbated by the Great Depression, Thomas's natural aptitude and perseverance propelled him to extraordinary heights in the field of medicine. His journey began as a surgical laboratory assistant to Alfred Blaylock, where his innate abilities quickly elevated him to a position of authority in cardiology. Thomas pioneered innovative treatments for methemoglobinemia and cyanotic heart disease, tackling surgical challenges that even seasoned surgeons hesitated to confront. By the late 1930s, he had become so proficient in surgery that he found himself tutoring esteemed clinicians, including Blaylock and Helen Tausig, in complex surgical techniques. Despite his pivotal contributions to medical advancements, Thomas faced the harsh reality of racial discrimination in the United States. The color bar hypocrisy of the era denied him the recognition he deserved, with several American institutions and publishers overlooking his contributions to groundbreaking procedures like the Blaylock Thomas Tausig shunt instead attributing them solely to Blaylock and Tausig. Undeterred by systemic racism, Thomas continued to blaze trails in the field of medicine. His expertise garnered widespread recognition, leading to consultancy requests from prestigious institutions like Vanderbilt University and Johns Hopkins University. Over his illustrious 45-year career as a surgery instructor and surgical lab supervisor, Thomas left an indelible mark on the field of cardiology. In recognition of his extraordinary contributions, Johns Hopkins University bestowed upon Thomas an honorary LL.D. degree in 1976, underscoring his immense impact on the medical community. Beyond formal accolades, Thomas's remarkable story has been immortalized in numerous movies, documentaries, sagas, and prose pieces, ensuring that his legacy endures as an inspiration for generations to come. Scientist number 99 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fourth luminary from the USA on our list is Catherine Coleman Johnson. Catherine Criola Coleman Goebel Johnson stands as a shining example of brilliance and resilience, overcoming formidable obstacles to become one of the most distinguished scientists of her time. From a young age, her extraordinary intellect was evident, earning her a mathematics degree with the highest honors at just 18 years old. In an era marked by pervasive racial and gender prejudices, Johnson refused to let societal barriers hinder her aspirations. Instead, she persevered in her pursuits, making groundbreaking contributions to the fields of astrodynamics, orbital mechanics, aerospace, and cosmology. Her pioneering work played a pivotal role in propelling the United States ahead in the space race against the Soviet Union. From conducting launch window evaluations to calculating trajectories and plotting backup navigational charts, Johnson's expertise was indispensable to the success of numerous space missions. Her meticulously calculated solutions ensured the accuracy and safety of crucial orbital calculations, including those for the first American to orbit the Earth and the historic lunar landing. Even with the advent of advanced electronic computers at NASA, Johnson's mental prowess and unparalleled ability to solve complex mathematical problems remained unmatched. Astronauts, including the legendary John Glenn, trusted her calculations implicitly, 
insisting that she verify all computer-generated orbit calculations before their missions. Despite facing overt racial discrimination, NASA recognized and rewarded Johnson's exceptional talents, honoring her with multifarious accolades, including the highest awards bestowed by the United States. Her legacy continues to be celebrated through various tributes, including a spacecraft named in her honor, as well as numerous monuments, institutes, research centers, and NASA facilities dedicated to preserving her memory and contributions to science and humanity. Scientist number 100 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fifth luminary from the USA on our list is Jesse Ernest Wilkins, Jr. Jesse Ernest Wilkins, Jr. emerged as a beacon of brilliance and resilience, overcoming daunting challenges to become one of the most remarkable geniuses of the 20th century. Born into a society plagued by deep-seated racism and discrimination, Wilkins faced formidable obstacles from the outset. However, his exceptional intelligence and insatiable thirst for knowledge set him apart from an early age, earning him recognition as a child prodigy. Despite the pervasive racial prejudices of 1920s America, Wilkins astounded observers with his extraordinary intellect, following in the footsteps of his father, who had similarly impressed a generation earlier. His intellectual prowess caught the attention of the academic community, leading to his admission to the University of Chicago at the unprecedented age of 13. There, he demonstrated a remarkable aptitude for mathematics, completing his undergraduate, master's, and doctoral degrees by the age of 19, an achievement unparalleled in academic history. Wilkins's academic journey continued to soar as he pursued advanced studies in mechanical engineering, distinguishing himself as one of the youngest researchers to contribute to the Manhattan Project, the monumental scientific endeavor of the 20th century. His brilliance and versatility were further evident as he embarked on a distinguished career as a mathematics professor, physics professor, and eventually, as the president of the American Nuclear Society. Despite not achieving widespread fame, Wilkins's intellectual prowess surpassed that of many prominent figures of his time, including Albert Einstein and Nikola Tesla. Experts recognized his extraordinary contributions across a vast array of disciplines, from multivariable calculus and algebraic geometry to biophysics and nuclear technologies. His pioneering work in developing gamma and neutron shielding models remains instrumental in safeguarding nuclear reactors and continues to impact the field of nuclear science. That's all from our side. Please let us know if you agree with our list or if you'd like to add any other scientists to your top 100. Have you heard of the bad blood study on African Americans, the radium girl's tail? or the superhumans built by Chinese scientists in labs. We've compiled the top 5 mind-blowing scientific blunders for you. Please watch it on our homepage.